Hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. Welcome. Hello. You've been here for a little while, but welcome all the same. And hi to everyone at home who's watching on Twitch. Uh, we are uh, we're Wild Cards. We are part of the Saving Throw Twitch channel, and we are here to play Wild Cards, which is our Deadlands Reloaded show using the Savage World system. My name is Jordan Caves Callerman, and I am the marshal here, and I typically run a three-hour show that reliably runs four, four. and a half. So, four hours. <laughs> so four hour show. this two-hour time slot is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, before we get started, why don't we meet everyone here at the table very, very quickly. So what I need is your name, your character name, and a very brief logline about who you guys are. OK. Who goes first? You go first. Hey, hi, my name is Jordan Pridgen, and I play Gabriel Pryor, uh, who is a con man who used to pretend to be a preacher to g g con people. <laughs> and then stuff happened, and he was chosen by a higher power, and now he can do miracles and crap. Uh, he's super excited that about is it. Very Gabriel. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Hi, my name is Megan Caves, and I play Rosaline Byrne. She is a huckster. She is. Uh, night fighter, and she is in a Bonnie and Clyde style relationship with Gabriel here, and they go around and, and manipulate people. She's a high class escort, uh, and she, you know, does does good stuff. Um, yeah, I You're think that's peppering some I, information I bombs know. through I just, there. Yeah, information. She's Irish. I, I, yeah, you got it. You get it. They you pick fun. up on the Irish thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, I'm Gaurav Gulati, and I play Howell Melton, the consummate frontiers gentleman. And I would say it 13 times, but Jordan said I couldn't, no, so do I'm that. not going two. to. Uh, he's a sweet, gentle boy who loves to punch people. Go, Dom. <laughs> Hi, my name's Dom Sook, and I play James Bogue, the gunslinger. Done. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Was this a contest, Dom? <laughs> Whoa. There's no the chess roll. clock. That's you how don't have to like us. All right, all right. <laughs> fine. That felt personal. I, yeah, I do, I take it personally. And also, just so uh, everyone here in the audience knows and everyone watching at home knows, uh, we are currently raising money for Extra Life while we run this show. So um, if you want, download the Extra Life app on your phone or smart device. That is the one from, uh, from Charity Systems, uh -huh. I believe. Uh -huh. Not the other Extra Life app that will come up when you search Extra Life in the App Store. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and then you can find our page, which is STS underscore Extra Life 2018. Did I say that right? Well, nope, sort of. I was close, <laughs> but I was close. Yeah, if you go to uh, bit.ly slash uh, STS underscore Extra Life 2018, you will find our Extra Life page. If you click that, it will open up your Extra Life app. If your Extra Life app is asking you, if you're at home, ignore all this. Just go to extralife.org. Uh, yeah. But if you're here, then go to your app, and it will automatically, it should automatically open your app or ask you to open your app. So uh, if it doesn't, just go to the app and search for us there. And this is part of our brilliant plan to get you to get on your phone right now instead of paying attention to anything that we're saying, which just gives us some time to just sort of loosen and up. And if it doesn't work, we didn't test this out beforehand, so I'm sorry, but hopefully it will. Uh, or I think you can still do it on your phone over the internet, just through on a directly. Browser, yeah. yeah, on a browser. So hopefully that will work out okay for you. But. So if you've, Thank ever, you. if you've ever watched Wild Cards before on Saving Throw, you know that um, viewers in chat can influence the game uh, through tips that all together go towards unlocking events in the game. We are doing something like that today. I, I do have a few unlockable events, and it looks like I think we've already unlocked the first three. Uh, so, that's awesome. So that's great. Uh, so I have added another one. Um, but, uh, but yeah, all of that stuff is going for a good cause to the Children's Miracle Network through the Extra Life Charity. So if you are so moved while you are watching the show to donate to a good cause, we know they would very much appreciate it, and we would appreciate it as well. Uh, okay, I think that's everything. Are there any other pressing orders of business that I have to go through before we just jump into this? Let's do it. So. Let's, Let's roll. Do it. Let's do it. Let's saddle up. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And I just want to take a quick moment to point out that this is not my normal hat. Uh, well. It's a fine hat, Marshall. Everyone else remembered to bring their hat all the way across the country. And wore them on the airport. Yes, not we look them. like this traveling. <laughs> yep, and when I saw pictures of them wearing their hats at the airport, I was also at the airport and had the crushing realization that I was not wearing my hat because I had forgotten it. So thank you very much to Luke Schimmick, who actually procured this hat for me in the town of Indiana, which is surprisingly cowboy hat free. <laughs> we tried. We looked. Yeah. We, did, we did check. Um, so to recap, a lot of things have been uh, really, really, a lot of things have been happening to the posse lately. Uh, you guys have been through hell. You guys have been hunting down the Baron, 
the rail baron who uh, James Bogue has dedicated his life to uh, taking vengeance against, systematically getting rid of his lieutenants. You took down the bear, the wraith, and the surgeon on your way to the baron. But all the while, you have been dogged, 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 dogged by chaos the reckoner who was forgotten about, who now walks the earth and is growing in power, and it seems to have taken a very particular interest in all of you. And that is where we are going to pick up tonight, but first, let's draw some fate chips. Yeah. Who wants to go first? Uh, me? Okay, cool. <laughs> draw three fate chips, okay. Rosaline. I got a blue and two white. Blue and two white, all right. Gabriel Pryor? You can pass the bag, I can't reach that far. Five fate chips for me because I am very lucky. Rub and it that's in. my whole thing. And I'm gonna try and not draw too many. Oh, I did it exactly right, unlike wow. both of you guys you know on others. You know what? Shut up. <laughs> Getting real contentious, real quick. I got here. the legend chips. So. I'm a little worried because this isn't a hat. We usually draw from a hat and this is a weird pouch. If I had brought a hat to keep fate chips in, <laughs> I would be wearing that right now. You forgot two hats then. Yep. Well, you weren't gonna bring that hat, were you? No, just let him have this. Okay, <laughs> really? I got, oh wow, I got America. America! <laughs> Red, white, blue. Nicely done, and I get one for each of you. Excellent. So I'm just gonna draw so those three. real yeah, slow. Three, what, three? no? He three. lost an eye, that counts yeah. as less. Did he lose right? an eye? Wouldn't he have seven? I got for three whites and a red. All right. Mm. That's not bad. Mm. If you don't know what fate chips do, or how they specifically work, don't worry. We will uh, we'll either point it out or we'll just run with it and you'll be catching up. You're good. And you'll be like, oh, that seemed to have helped them somehow. <laughs> and we'll go, yeah, sure. So, you guys find yourselves riding through Arizona. Where in Arizona, you're not entirely sure. The trail is stretched out before you. Just endless miles of dusty scrub, heat, very little water to find, but enough to keep you going and it looks exactly the same behind you. Miles and miles of lonely, isolated, hot, very hot desert trail. But finally, after several days of not seeing a single soul or anyone at all, you notice what looks like a very small settlement just quite a ways down the trail ahead of you. You can just barely make out a cluster of buildings and the Fairest trappings of civilization. What would you guys like to do? Are we writing on uh, Dot and Juliet? Uh, you are on Dot. Okay. Juliet. No name. And Gussie. Oh. Your horses. Oh, okay. okay. Hmm. I would like to point out chronologically, they have no idea where they are. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> We're deeply confused. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all that's, right. That's typical. If we stay silent, he's going to have to say something. <laughs> um, it, has been, it has been a long time since you guys have had a, a rest and anything approaching a hot meal or uh, just, just a bath of any kind, how particularly is... Thank God for anything that looks even a little bit like civilization. Do you think it is what, what it looks like? I don't think we have many options to choose from. Well. I've got to say, I understand why the reckoners decided to start everything here, it seems like some of North America's already hell. Well, I mean, this is as good a place as any, right? But where else, are we, nowhere. where else are we gonna go? We might as well. All right. All right, we should ride up there. So, riding along? Yeah. Okay, so you continue on the trail. It's, um, it's about midday, uh, so the sun is high in the sky. And as you get closer, you see uh, what looks like a little twisted, stunted placard, just kind of sitting askew, almost, almost touching the ground, uh, that has faded paint reading Moody Town or Moodyton. Moodyton? Have we ever heard of Moodyton? Uh, you can make a common knowledge roll for me if you want. Okay. I'm gonna give you a minus six on this one. <laughs> <laughs> because it is a random, very small town in the you, middle of nowhere, but I would love it if you make this roll. Marshall, when we ask if we know something, you can just yeah, say just no. Yeah, just say no. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna give you the opportunity to know this, Hal. So this is a D4. Yeah, it's your smarts. Oh, okay. With your wild die, minus so six. D2. How many maps have you been reading? Howl. A plenty of maps. I know like all about Moody. Howl thing to do. I know all about nothing. That's a negative two. <laughs> 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 
Would you like to use one of your fate ships to reroll that? No. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely not. How the name Moodyton or Moody Town, you're not quite sure how to pronounce it, uh, does not ring any bells for you, which makes sense because you are from Colorado and right. have never ventured outside of your hometown really before you met these guys. Right. All right. That makes sense. Could have just said no. <laughs> uh, so we see a sign? You see a sign. Okay, it's, it's, it's still a little ways outside of the town. Okay, so we're not, okay, we're uh, not okay. in the town yet. It's about a half, half mile posted out, How just much, to let you know what you're in for. Does it look like, can we see like people or activity? Everyone make a notice roll for me. Oh, that's something I can do. No penalty that for I you, James. Do. You still have two eyes. Oh, good. I'm a notice oh. son of a bitch. Oh, I aced it. Well, never mind. Nice. I did. Yep, I didn't notice this time. You did not, okay. I also did not notice. I got a seven. A seven? I noticed. Six. Okay, and in general, we're looking for a four as a success in Savage World, so you guys both succeed. Um, so you see, uh, just scanning down the road ahead, uh, what looks like a few kind of very uh, just sluggishly moving townspeople, uh, just kind of going about their general townspeople days. Uh, you don't see a whole lot of activity. Uh, you don't see a whole lot of people, just the, the odd straggler. They're not really interacting with each other. They're just kind of trudging from uh, one building to the other. Uh, you see a couple of people on rocking chairs uh, in shaded awnings that are just doing the bare minimum amount of effort to keep out the sun. Are Doesn't they, seem like a very bustling town. Are they all old people? Is that why they're slow? You can't see from here, and also oh. you're not paying attention to this at all, Hal. <laughs> um, you're just focused on Gussie's head continually to bob <laughs> in front of you as you move down you the trail. To weave out. Oh, no, and, no, let's yeah. go back this way. Let's stay on the trail. This, this is Gussie, so. Oh, yeah, there she is. Yeah, there right? she is. Look. That's what you're well, staring at. Bobbing. Uh, well, all I hope is that they've got at least some. Cold water, some food, maybe a nice place to sleep for a bit. I swear, every time we get to another one of these little hamlets, I wonder who names the places. Moody Town? It's like they're trying to make sure your hopes don't get too high when you roll in. Well, would your hopes be high if you're in the middle of this place all the time? Well, no, but I would name it something optimistic to try and combat that. What would you name a town in the middle of nowhere well, in the I don't, desert? I didn't come here with a <laughs> town name ready. Can, well, maybe we should just go to the town. Who cares what it's named? Right? right. She's right, yeah. All right. right. All right, so you guys riding into Moody Town? Moodyton. Moodyton. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, as you approach, the sound of your clopping hoof steps uh, just kind of echoes out through the empty air. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs> live clopping, people. That is live clopping. And the people there, they, they sort of seem to take a kind of disinterested scan of, of, of you as you ride into the main street uh, or what passes for the main street here in Moodyton. Uh, and then they just sort of either return to whatever it was they were doing, be it whittling or, or collecting uh, whatever they need from the general store for the day, and then heading out to their homestead. But no one really pays you much mind. So I think I'll just find, basically, the first person who like comes near us and just like dismount off of my horse and you know keep a hand on it and say, uh, sir, excuse me, we're just traveling through town. Is there somewhere we could Find a place to rest. Uh, there's a saloon. Which direction we find that saloon in, sir? We're standing right in front of it. It's right behind you there. Well, I guess I did fail my notice roll. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. Oh, you don't say that to him? No, I don't. Good, he would be very confused. I, I don't think Gabe would know what he was talking about. Um, I did say it in the accent, so I understand why that's confusing. Um, don't, no. Well, yeah. well, thank you for your help. Well, I guess we got the information we needed. What's the saloon called? The Trough. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Do you think they have people like us coming through often? They don't seem to give us a second glance. Well, they sure don't seem surprised by any of it, but let's not worry about that. Let's get some rest. I See agree. if they have some food and water. Does anyone want to take uh, another scan of the streets now that you're here yes. in yes. town? Yes, indeed. No. Okay. Yeah. Anyone who does want to do that, make another notice roll for me. Okay. Got a five this time. Five, okay. Uh, Rosaline got an uh, electronic got beeping noise. <laughs> I got a five. You got a five? Seven. Seven, okay, so everyone but Rosaline. Uh, just I'm looking around, this place seems desolate. 
uh, obviously, it looked that way from, the dis from a distance. There weren't many people, you could tell that. Um, but just looking out and around, there's just a few ramshackle structures that make up the main street, a couple of oddly placed other buildings that look sort of haphazardly assembled, and then out around the town is just flat desert scrub for as far as the eye could see. Is, do I see any lawmen or anything here? Uh, not, not where you are, no. <clears throat> okay. Well, I can see why the morale is so low here. It's like travelers just were walking through the desert and said, I give up, let's stay here. <laughs> well, I'm glad they did, because it's given us a place to stay, so let's go into the saloon, yeah? Hopefully yeah. not for long. Okay, walking in? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the trough is not a very lively place. Hate to surprise you. Yeah. Um, but inside, uh, it's kind of just a dingy, dark affair. Uh, the only light is what's filtering in through the grimed over dusty windows. And there is a solitary, solid looking man, uh, in a, uh, about middle age, but still with plenty of uh, full black, bushy beard and hair on his head, uh, who is tending bar, kind of disinterestedly rearranging bottles and glasses. And the odd old timer sitting at a table just staring despondently into their drink. But other than that, the place is fairly empty. Uh, can I go up to the bar and get his attention and just say, this is not normally the thing I would order from a place like this, but could I please start with some water? Uh, water? Yes. All right, yeah, yeah, I can, uh, you, like, uh, from the trough? I would prefer it not to be, I mean, do you mean the saloon, that that's the name of this place, or you mean the trough outside for the horses? Oh, yeah, no, I could see the confusion. I meant the, the trough for the horses. <laughs> Why would I, no, I want... I don't want horse water. Why would you offer a lady horse water? Well, because the nearest well's about a mile walk to the south, so uh, unless she's wanting to venture out or uh, have me go, was it you were wanting me to go hike and get some I, water? All right, the... when you get thirsty, what is it you drink? <laughs> really? That's all you have? You're never, fine, just give me a whiskey then. For a town that's drunk all the time, you think someone would be more lively. <laughs> uh, whiskey? Uh, sure. All right, that'll be uh, that'll be twenty-five cents. Twenty? How how uh, fancy is this whiskey that I'm, t that I'm getting here? It's Midland affair, fancy, miss. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have uh, we've had such a hard, tough day. <laughs> I just, I just really need a drink. Rose, I, I put I'm tired. 25 cents on the, on the What? You didn't bar. even give me a chance, James. I, I, I need it. something to drink. I don't know. Well, let's hope that whiskey's on the fair end of middle and to fair, then. So to, just to catch myself up, uh, you're wanting a whiskey as well? What? The? I'll take whatever you have for 25 cents. All right, coming right up. So he grabs a, a bottle off the, the shelf and pours out a, a dusty shot glass and just splashes some whiskey in it and slides it down to James. Appreciate the verisimilitude there. <clears throat> tastes Midland Affair. <laughs> he wasn't lying. Well. For a little while it tastes Midland and then by the end you're like, ah, oh, it's fair. One more. Uh, For another 25 cents. Oh, okay, because yeah. that'll be another quarter. Right. I understood it to cost another 20. 25 cents. All right, and he kind of, he just walks over to where you are and just splashes some more in your glass. Right. So do the children also drink whiskey here? Or do they get their own water out of the horse trough? Well, there ain't many kids around, and uh, I don't have none of myself, so I don't really do a lot of uh, investigating as to the, the way that the children stay watered and fed. All right. Uh, All right. I'm just trying to understand how it is that you don't have access to water here. What did you ever bathe? We do have access to water. It's just the well is about a mile walk to the south. Uh, never so mind. So we just got, we got to work for it a bit is do all. Do you have any rooms maybe we could stay in, right, at least for the night yeah. here? Oh, that sounds nice. you, don't, you don't want to stay here. What? Uh, I, well, the fact that we are asking for rooms implies that we do, in fact, want to stay here. No, uh, and he takes a moment and sort of looks around at the couple of old timers who are sitting at the tables, who have not made any move whatsoever since you've come in and seemingly paid you no mind at all. No, it's just, uh, 
now ain't exactly the, the best time to stay here in Moodyton on account of uh, the strange goings on, I'm sure you saw. No, we didn't see nothing. Did uh, we? There, there's not much out to see, so if I'm you, not quite sure what you're... If you're referring to the people wandering around town, they seemed a bit strange, but I assume that's just a Moodyton thing. No, no, not, not the people, the, the pillar up north ways. Well, I'm not acquainted with the pillar up north ways. We were just wandering through the desert, and as far as we could tell, besides this town, there was nothing as far as the eye could see. Well, stranger, you might want to get your eyes checked, because uh, there is most definitely an upsettingly tall pillar up what? to the north. What is wrong with that pillar? Did it just come out of nowhere? That is exactly the thing that happened, miss, yes. <laughs> I guess, I suppose that is strange, but I mean, what kind of strange, is it just standing there? Is it doing it, anything? Yeah, has it done anything to the town? Well, not as I can rightly say exactly, but you seem to be misunderstanding the upsetting nature of having a gigantic pillar appear to the north of town. I think Look, all of a I, sudden. No, no, no. What I misunderstand is why you don't want our money to stay here in this hotel because of a giant pillar in town. Look, I, we, we understand this is upsetting to you, but our general base state of upsetting is a lot higher than a, than a pillar showing up off in the distance. All right. Listen, I'll, I'll take your money. I just wanted you to know that we had some pillar-related strangeness happening roundabouts here in town, and I just thought I'd yeah. do you the courtesy of letting you be forewarned. It's no, very if, kind of you. If the pillar kills us in our sleep, we will be like, my, we were warned. Is that a thing that you've heard pillars to do? <laughs> no, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> the pillars do that, preacher? Wait. No, how? no, pillars are not going to kill us. I was being facetious. Because I'll confess that had not yet entered my head until you said can, it just now. Can we please just get a room? Uh, could we get, what, three rooms, please? Three rooms. Yes. Do you have three? I, I got three. I'm just doing a quick count. There's four of you. <laughs> yeah, well, some of us will probably be sharing a room. I see. This is not a scandal as you are treating it. <laughs> All right, uh, well, seeing as how you folks have been uh, the kindest folks who've wandered through town in quite some time, I, I, I see fit to uh, offer you up, yes, three rooms. Well appointed, the best that I have on offer. Wonderful, can we have the key? Oh, well, uh, you need to pay for uh, rooms first here in, right. in Moodyton. I don't know where it works. You need to oh. tell us how much they cost. Quarter. The same well, as the whiskey. <laughs> I guess that keeps the menu simple around here. Um, so Gabe will take out some money and put it on the table. Um, he, he's going to put out a dollar and just be like, keep the change. Uh, because he does that probably <laughs> too often. <laughs> um, now we're broke. <laughs> yeah. But uh, tipping is important. Yes. Especially here in Moodyton. But after he puts down the money, he is going to walk outside and uh, look north, see if he sees any sign of <coughs> a pillar. Uh, yes, you walk outside, and all of a sudden, there is a gigantically tall pillar. Uh, we missed it, coming in. <laughs> you did. Wait, which direction did we come in from? Uh, you came in from the south. Oh, OK. Uh, and <laughs> to the other end of town, just stretching up almost uh, above the clouds, it looks like a rusty redstone pillar. Uh, it, it's hard to tell exactly how far away it is because your mind is having a difficult time comprehending the scale of it. It could be very far off in the distance. It could be a very close, very narrow pillar. Hard to tell. I suppose we should go take a look at that uh, in a bit. Uh, I'll admit I'm a little more unsettled by the fact that we missed this pillar than I initially How, how did on. we not see that? Uh, how, uh, you got two eyes, Bo. Yep. <laughs> Low. <laughs> I, out of character. <laughs> oh, out yes, of character? What? Okay. Out of character. Out of character. That's the thing that we do when we're out of character. We've so, always done no, this. We no, never we've always done this. You're always. on camera the whole time. They know you have Every been doing it. Every episode of Wild Cards when we're out of character, we do this. You guys do it too, I'm sure. Uh, this is we have what just cleared three hundred dollars at extra oh, life. So thank you. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Thank you guys very much. Uh, that means we have unlocked all of the tiers I prepared, except for the one I scribbled down right before I made the announcement that I had put up another tier. Um, so those will be coming into play. Um, I'm not going to announce them when they come into play, but I'm sure contextually you will know that something has happened. What? So thank you guys very much.
Uh, can I talk to the bartender real quick again? Yeah, uh, I, I'm sorry. Did you want a whiskey? Because this is one quarter more than what I needed for the room, so no, I have actually, a no, surplus. I don't need the whiskey, but do you have some sort of large horse-sized box <laughs> for my horse? Because you're going to need some We got sort a hitching of... post out front. You're going to need more than the hitching post for my horse? So just, if you could just make, can you put a horse in a room? Because we paid you enough for another room. Can you just put a horse in a room? Howl, I'm sure Gus will make it through the night in one piece. I do have another room. All right. And you did pay a dollar. You can keep so, the horse in a room if you feel like it. Well, I mean, Doc can go in there too. I mean, they can all share a room, right? Well, if, can Juliet fit me? No, it's not fair to give one horse a yeah. room. All right. No, we don't need to buy the horses' rooms. No, Gabriel, come on, give him another dollar. Gabriel, just put another dollar on I the table. I gave him for a the tip. horses. Come on. Horses I gave him own. a twenty-five cent tip. That, by the way, I do not know if we can continue to afford. And no. now we have to buy ho- rooms for all the horses. Well, he I, doesn't understand. I, I, I should stop you. I only have the one extra room, and I don't know that it has room for four horses in it. Uh, I've never mucked out uh, one of my one of my hotel rooms. <laughs> no, this but, is the uh, dumbest conversation I have ever had. <laughs> So just, we, well, just Gussie for the room. I'd just like to, he started by asking if I had a horse-sized box, so. Well, it's worked before, so. You're right, every element of the conversation has been rather dumb. Well, that being said, we can tie Gussie up extra strong outside. All right, fair. So you won't be wanting the horse room then? If she, gets, if she starts getting away, you might want to put her in the room, just saying. Well, that being said, right. I would like that extra quarter's worth of whiskey now. Oh. Okay, all right, yep, that makes sense. And he pours one up for you and slides it down. Yeah. Wait. Midland Affair. Oh, yep, there we go, gotta use Ah, it. Now, that is Midland Affair. Yep, it sure was. What time of day is it? I think you said. Just a little afternoon. It's midday. So, uh, how how tired are we? Is this sort of thing where it's like, can't investigate that pillar until we've had ourselves a good rest? I don't know, that sounds like a question for you. I I feel great. I. (laughs) have the major hind- hindrance of curious, <coughs> so I want to go investigate this pillar. Pillar time. <laughs> yep. It's pillar time. Yeah, we're going to go with it. Yeah, pillar time. Oh, wait. <laughs> you didn't even that, know? I, I did not mean that as a pun. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's or happening now. a play now. on popular no. slogans. But, but it is now. It works. Yeah. You did it. We'll pitch it yeah. to them. Let's ride. No, let's not just walk. Yep. Let's walk there. Uh, how are you tying Gussie up outside of the saloon? This is important. I, I must, need to know I this. I must have learned some awesome knots you at this point. Like, well, yeah, now we're, that we're riding to the pillar, why would he tie up Gussie? Are you riding to the pillar? We're not riding. Wait, did we we're walking? That? Wait, hold, how far is it? Can we walk? Hold on. Is there a map? Did everyone, <laughs> did everyone walk back outside of the trough? Yes. Uh, yes. Make yes. a notice roll for me. Oh, my. All right. I'm gonna put Ooh, my whiskey uh, over there. I got a five. I, I got a four. I got a five. I got a six. Well done. All right, so everybody succeeded on notice, which is how you realize that there is n- not a pillar there. Wait, what? Okay, now I some had... of you didn't see it before. That's true, I didn't see it. Uh, uh, I had two whiskeys, Midland to Fair. I don't think I would have not seen the pillar well, twice. Well, I, I definitely didn't see a pillar the first time. And then I walked outside and saw a pillar, and now I decidedly do not see a pillar. I don't see anything there. Did I see the pillar? I mean, I was talking to him as if I oh, did, but I never said You never it. walked okay. outside. Only Gabe saw the pillar. Wait, uh, hold on. But you said you saw it. All right, I, I know which direction it was in. Well, I, I well, mean, it look, be... it could be a mirage. It could be a trick of the heat. But they, I mean, the town, uh, that bartender said it came out of nowhere. Maybe it just went out of nowhere. Sure, maybe it has and to do now... with the angle or the time of day, something like that. I think if we head in the direction of the pillar, we can at least for sure determine if it's there or not. Uh, all right, I guess we should probably try, but this is, we've run into strange things before. Are we sure we want to poke our nose well, in this particular? Frankly, right now, I want to know where that damn pillow went. I agree. I, well, I never saw it, but you said you saw it, so you did. I saw the pillar, and someone mentioned a pillar, and then I went outside and saw a pillar, so evidence points to the fact that there was a pillar there. All Maybe right, just let's... A, there's a smudge on your glasses. I don't think that that's, if, if he saw These it. glasses are for show, Howell. It was a pillar-sized <laughs> smudge. What? They're just glass. Your eyes ain't broke. Has it People taken People take you it? more seriously when you have glasses on. That makes sense. All right, let's, let's, <laughs> let's go and just see. We might as well. What else are we going to do right now? James, uh, you have been wearing your shirt sleeves long, even though you've been traveling through the desert in order to protect your arms from the sun. 
You don't have to. It's okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, it just looks weird. <laughs> your forearms are feeling very itchy. Hmm. Uh, I will uh, roll them up. As you do, you notice just a little bit of what looks like very rough, very coarse, bristly black hair has kind of sprouted up on a few places on your right arm. Well, that's disconcerting. All right. Do we like see that? Are you like hiding that from us? Not particularly. I'm just kind of like maybe touching my arm a little bit. And just, you all right, James? Hey. What happened to your arm? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's got a little bit of hair on here that's not coming off. Maybe well, it's dots or I something. I mean, you got plenty know. of hair, but. Congratulations, Bogue. You're a man now. <laughs> Let's uh, keep walking towards the pillow and we can worry about your itchy arm hair later. All right. Why are you so mean, preacher? I've just had a long day driving through the desert. Driving? And now, <laughs> you got one of them fancy automobiles? Driving a group of horses. Is it operated like by zombies? Cattle. By the bottom halves of zombies? Because I know, I know a man you could talk to about that. He's Look, out there somewhere. I'm sorry. It's been a long day, and now pillars are disappearing. And that puts me off my best game. Mm. Now, if we could just... Find out where that pillar done gone, I would highly appreciate it. How? Yeah. Make a notice roll for me. All right. I got a five. A five. So as this conversation is happening and you're walking down the main street, uh, you become aware of, out of the corner of your eye, someone watching you through the window of what looks like a shop. What kind of shop? A general store. Oh, okay. Uh... Do you turn and look? Yes, absolutely. Um, so turning to look, you see a cloudy figure, again, through the grime and dust on this window that appears to be just very close to the window. And you get the impression, though you can't see his face, that he is staring at you. OK, I'm going to stop walking, turn, and just uh, stare back at them and say, howdy. <laughs> no response. The figure behind the window just continues to stand there and stare directly your direction. Just me? As far as you can tell. Yep. Hey, y'all see that fella staring at me? Hmm? Do we see him? You do not. What are you talking about, Howard? There's a, there's a, do I still see him? Yeah. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a peek in that, I need some more smokes, so I'm just going to go take a peek All in right, that general well, store. Don't take too long. Yep. I'll skip on over there real okay. quick. Okay, so you're walking into the general store? Yes. Okay, so you open the door, the tiny bell tingles slightly oh, over your head, that's nice. and the shopkeeper, uh, a, a woman in her 30s it looks like, just uh, lean and, and hard, hard used by this harsh climate, looks up, and you scan the store over by the window, there is no one standing there. Uh, oh, howdy, ma'am. Uh, howdy, can I help you? Uh, I, were you just at the window? Were you, uh, I thought you might have been looking at me. Was that you? N no, I, I, was, I was reading. She holds up a Bible that she has behind the counter. Oh, it's a good book. That's, yes. We got a preacher with us, actually. <laughs> he's over there. You do? <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's probably best you don't meet him. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, uh, is there anybody else in the store? Can I just look around to see if there's anybody... So it's not a huge store. Sure. So it doesn't take a lot of time to look like around CBS and figure out there is like CVS size. Target. A little bit smaller. Think okay. about like your corner, like a corner express CVS. Okay. Um, <laughs> you look around uh, and you just see a couple of, of almost bare shelves. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of supply and demand here in Moodyton. Okay. Um, and dust and nothingness other than her and you. Great. That's spooky. Um, a pack of smokes. Uh, I can do rolling papers and, and tobacco. That's fine. All right. Uh, that'll be a quarter. Oh, all right. <laughs> Should they name this place Quarter convenient. Town? <laughs> Here you go. So she takes your quarter and hands you the, the cigarettes and the, okay. and the tobacco. Uh, wait. What? what was that? Before you go, did you, um, did you happen to see a pillar, like a, just a giant stone pillar 
to the to the north of town? Uh, no, uh, our preacher friend said he did, and uh, you know the bartender, but I, I haven't seen nothing. But would you look again? Uh, yeah, I'll just peek out the window. Uh, the windows are too grimed over to really get a clear look at from from inside. I'll peek out the door. You see Pillar, a giant, a giant, uh, staggeringly what? tall pillar. Told In you fact, there was a pillar. Told you there was a pillar. All of you guys who have just been staring at the front of the general store waiting for, for Howell to come back. You look see him that. poke his head out and react in kind. J j look, the pillar's here. And you, you all see it. You all see it? This giant pillar stretching up for the skies. All right. There's the pillar. Right. That I, I do see that pillar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, okay. This is the one you saw This before? is not a subtle pillar, right? I would not say it is a subtle pillar. No, that is not how I would describe it. <laughs> this is not like, oh... That you don't have to be standing at a certain point in order to see the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we should go. And, are you ready? How oh, uh, yeah. What was your name, ma'am? Uh, Olivia. Olivia, thank you, ma'am. Uh, and yeah, we're, it, you we're, can see it. Oh yeah, we're gonna go take a look and see if we could. Uh, I don't know what you do to pillars, but we'll could do that. Gabe is not breaking. Like he's he's just gonna like keep staring at the pillar. So you 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 can all see it. She's calling out from inside the shop. Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. Could you do me, um, could you do me a favor? Absolutely, yeah. Could you all come into the shop? I'm not letting this pillow out of my sack. No, I, I think that you should. Wait. Just come into the shop and close the door. All right, yeah, come, come on in. All right. We do so. James, your uh, other arm is now getting very itchy as well. I'll roll that up. More of that really coarse, almost bristly black hair is, is continuing to appear on your arms. Well, that is strange. I don't think I've ever had a, like a riding rash affect my hair like I, this. I, I'm sorry, this won't be uh, very, very much time. I, I, I don't mean to distract you from uh, whatever it is that you're doing, but uh, just come inside and close the door behind you. All yeah. right. Yeah, sure, we do that. <clears throat> okay. What's going on? Now go back outside. We just came inside. Just go back oh, outside? All right. What? What? I open the door and go back outside. Pillar's gone. What? Okay. Where'd what that is damn it? pillar go? Do you see it? No. And why, why is this what normally So it's, it's gone now. I don't see it. But you saw it a moment ago. Yes. I saw from your faces that you saw something. We and then you came it. inside and you went back out and it was gone. We yes. verbally confirmed the fact that we saw the pillar. So, um, so that's been happening. Does that always happen if you go inside and then it's, it changes each time? I don't know. It happens for me. It doesn't, it doesn't seem Can to I? happen. I talk to other people in town and they don't even seem to think that there is a pillar. Wait, you all stay here. Can I go back in, close the door, and then come back out? Yes. So you're having them stay outside. Yeah, but I want them to stay. Okay. Yeah. And I come back out. Okay. And it's there. You do not see the pillar. But last time... but. You now see the pillar. I see the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't, They right? do not. Okay, there's the, you, you all see it, right? You see it? No. It's, Confirm that no. I do not see the pillar. You, you don't Confirmed. see it. No, no. I, I don't see it now. But it's right there. Uh, well, when Howe went in and came out, I started to see the pillar. Well, you, you, okay, yeah, go, that, go, that, go inside. Oh, you that's go unusual. Inside. Wait, yeah, that, how does that? I don't know. I've only been doing this with me. I didn't. Well, do you see it? Well, you, she stayed outside, right? She's been inside the whole time. Oh, you, you go inside and come back out and see if you see it. All right. I walk in and I close the door. I wait a couple seconds. <clears throat> Open the door. Go back out. Pillar? Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Boom, got the pillar. Is it there? I see the pillar now. And you all see it? We don't see it. No. No, and I, I'm, honestly, I don't want to see it anymore. Like yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend looking at it for too long. It's, it starts to give you a, a, a headache. What? Why did nobody tell us that? How long have you been seeing and not seeing this pillar? Well, uh, as far as I can tell from, from what I saw and from what people <clears throat> talk about when they do talk about it, I think it showed up about a week ago. But it's not always there. And if you talk to the same person about it, they don't always agree that they've seen it before or even know what you're talking about. So I'm relieved to find that you all are experiencing the same thing that I've been experiencing. Other people are, has, has anyone else confirmed the, the disappear and reappear kind of thing? Well, no. But have you spoken to anyone else in town about the pillar? The bartender said it was the one who warned us about it. Oh, Lucas? Over at the trough. Lucas is his name, right? Yeah, go, go ask him now. What? See what, see what he says. All right. 
All right, okay. How about two of us stay here? Two of us will go ask Lucas, because if we come back and you say that there's no pillar, we are going to assume this entire town is trying to deceive us I'm not us going somehow. to say there's no pillar. I can see the pillar. I, I don't always see it, but I know it's there, and I know, I know that I'm not crazy. All right, uh, hold on, though. Maybe we should just go and see what it is. Do we need to go and talk to Lucas? Why don't we just go down there? Those of you who can see it, how far away is it? <laughs> how far away does it look? It's, it's hard to tell. It's, hard to it's tell. either very I... far away and hugely thick, or not as far away as you think it is and very narrow. I, I would call it middle into far. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think, I think Ms. Burns right. Weird is weird, all right? It's, it's, if it's weird, we've got to go take a look, right? Well, do we, we need horses or not? Well, I, I do, since we can't, we can't tell how far it is, it might behoove us to take them. All right. All, all right. I, I, I want to go ask Lucas one more time. All right. Well, we've got to go get our horses, so. Okay. So I guess we'll head to the uh, the Back the to trough. the trough? Okay. And then we, just to get our horses, uh, which are tied up outside it. And Three of I, them are. Son of a... <laughs> Which one's gone? <laughs> I'm sure she's inside in the room. I'll go get her. <laughs> so you guys are walking inside? Yes. The room we did not pay for. Just FYI, he got another whiskey with that. Right. Uh, hello? Did you see a horse come through here? <laughs> oh, you're the folks with that horse. Yes. Uh, she just turned, walked right past me uh, down the hallway to the rooms, uh, and you know, she seemed confident in that she knew where she was going, so. Well, she Gussie, she's wandered to somebody's room? Is that one of your horses? Yeah. Uh, Lucas, we've been told that's your name. Oh, yeah, yes, when Lu we came in Lucas earlier. Lucas is my name. When we came in earlier. Uh, you have me at a disadvantage though, and you are? Gabriel, it is a pleasure to meet you. Uh, Gabriel. Uh, uh, hold on, you saw us earlier. Uh, no ma'am. That's we, what I thought. Or is this whole town just pulling one now, over on us for the fun of it? I'm sorry, we came in and I gave you a dollar and you could not understand the concept of a tip. Uh, you don't remember any of this. I think I'd remember getting a dollar. And you told us not. <laughs> That's good. Um, <laughs> you told us that we would not want to stay here because you were having pillow problems. Pillow problems? Pillow problems. Well, we got pillow pro- oh, I gotta go get my horse. I'm gonna go get her. Y you go get the horse, and let's go and deal with this, because I'm tired. I don't know if you're just messing with all of us, or if we're all losing our minds, but we might as well go see for ourselves. Sure, Will, real quick, uh, check your till. Do you have a dollar in there you did not know you had? He, he goes and, and pulls out what looks like a, an old coffee can from underneath the, the bar. No, oh, that's a... Uh... Sounds pretty empty to me. All right, well, this man has conned us out of a dollar, and if he, he manages to do that, I say he deserves it. Do you have the dollar? Well, I, I have a couple dollars. Well, I'm We're sure not you that know, broke. I'm sure I, you know how many dollars you had. I wouldn't begin. recommend just flashing hold, dollars hold around. <laughs> James, are you thinking that, that there's evidence that we didn't actually come in here and pay for all the things that we did? Yes. Maybe I should check. All right, I'll check my money, which we don't keep strict track of, so. As, <laughs> well, as Rose says, maybe you should check. Uh, just looking at her, you see what look like two angry red welts on her forehead. Rose, are you feeling all right? Am I feeling all right? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna kind of examine the welts. There's something on your forehead. What do you mean, what, what? Have you run into anything? Do, I do haven't. These, and I, I, I like. They feel very hard to your touch, very firmly packed skin. And Rose, that whatever he just did to your head feels very sensitive. Ow, oh, that. I'm sorry, but. That hurt. What is it? You've got little red marks on your head. I do. Well, I don't. I, I... Like little horns of some sort. <laughs> I, 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 no, I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I don't mean to do we'll, we'll share the room and they can, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Look, uh, all I'm saying is, look. Did you folks want a room? Uh, hold we on. we did, bought did a room already. Yeah. How? I went to go get my horse. I'm Wait, searching the rooms. Yeah. Oh, Gus, you don't have to search the room. Gussie's just at the end of the hallway trying to open a doorknob with her, look, with her all right, mouth. All right, Look at these red marks. Do I see them? You do. All right, yes, you have two 
Look, look, look. like welts on your forehead. Now, they're hard as look stone. At, look at my hair. Do you, you see the coarse black hair that's that's here, that's sort of interspersed amidst Folks, my I have normal not spent handsome any time examining hair. your arms. Oh. Hold on, but, but okay, but James is saying something's unusual, and if I have horns on my head, then maybe, maybe this is something. No maybe we should just get out of this town. No one said horns. <laughs> no, I said horns. I said horns. He said horns. He's the only one who said horns. Because they are little hard protrusions here and here. No, nope, they're welts. James. I can put one and one together, guys. Your, your back is getting itchy now as well. <gasps> Werewolf. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Is this how this works? All right. Whatever is happening, it is strange. Let's make our way to the pillar and find out what is going on around yes, here. Yes, I agree. Let's just, let's do that. Did you get Gussie? Yeah, yeah, she's here. She's just, uh, she likes the rooms. Uh, I'm going to take her out, though. Okay. All right. All right, yes, we'll go out. Okay, so back out on the street. Yeah, although I, I see assume, the pillar? Yeah. So no rooms, then? Just, nope. I, uh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> So you walk back out on the street. You two see the pillar. Mm. <laughs> you two do not see the All pillar. All right, I don't see it now. This is good. It, it, so just get on the horse. Maybe we'll we, oh ride. God. If we just go back inside and shut the door, then maybe we'll be able to see it. It's probably better to see where we're headed, right? Whoa, 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 right. Wait, 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 wait. What if it's better that some of us don't see it? I don't personally want to have that sort of handicap. I think it could be useful, though. If, if there's something that's changing things between us, as long as one of us can be leading us. All right, fine. Yeah, me, fine. me, me and Bo will lead the way. We'll just lash Juliet and No Name to our horses. And well, we can also just uh, follow you. We I, can see you. I don't want. <laughs> For now. I also don't want my horse latched to Gussie. Hey. No offense. She's a fine horse. She'll find her she, way. Rose makes a very salient like. point. Yes, maybe right. we'll just, we'll follow Dot. So you guys walk back outside of the trough. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So now everyone can see. Oh no no no! We're keeping. We didn't it go back. Oh, you didn't go back in. We okay. Back We're in. doing halvesies. What? We're doing. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing halvesies. So half of us can see it. Half, half of you can right? see the pillar. That's the seeing table. This is the cannibal table. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We're doing halvesies. Yes. I'm sorry. That's see now I understand. Okay, um, so you guys are heading to the pillar that only the two of you can see. Okay, uh, and you are walking or you are taking the We're horses? We're taking the horses. We're gonna ride. All right, um, so just very slowly, uh, you start to make your way to the north end of town. Um, James, here on the far end of town, the other side, you do see what looks like an old disused marshal's office uh, okay. to your left. All right. uh, and as you continue walking out of town towards the pillar that you two can see, um, I need you two to make a spirit roll for me. Oh. Cool. Maybe we look down here. <laughs> <laughs> I aced it. Ooh. Oh, I aced it too. Sweet. Ace brothers. I got an eight. I got a 13. An eight and a 13. Okay, so those are successes with races. Um, By the way, if you're watching and haven't played much Savage Worlds, when you ace is when you roll the highest you can on a dice and then you get to roll it again and add it to the first thing. So you can get... Higher and higher. Numbers. Add infinitum. They also knows it exploding. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. um, so, as you continue on, you start to feel as you're looking at the pillar this kind of pressure behind your eyes, um, but you're able to keep going. It's just mostly uncomfortable. You guys don't feel anything. We don't feel anything. Okay. All right. I, I remember uh, the woman at the general store had mentioned looking at it too long would cause some. Some distress. I don't know if you're experiencing this, but my, my eyes are killing me. My noggin is in distress, that's really? for sure. Are you, you okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just a, it's just a little, little ache. It's fine. We'll, we'll be all right. Let's keep on moving. Maybe try to keep our eyes a little off of it, unless we need to keep Con our eyes on it. Continuing to the pillar? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, you continue on that direction, uh, and you two still can't see the pillar, uh, so you can't really do anything but follow behind them. Mm -hmm. uh, will you two make a notice roll for me? Okay. Six. Three. So you're just trying to kind of keep, uh, you, you keep rubbing your eyes, just trying to clear this sensation that seems to persist and will not go away. James, you notice the longer that you continue to walk towards this pillar, it may be a trick of perspective, but it doesn't seem like you've actually gotten much closer to the pillar. 
All right. And I need both of you to make another spirit roll for me at a minus two. How, how did you do that? I mean, I aced on his glasses. You aced on his glasses? <laughs> I'll allow it. Cool. Oh, ace. Uh, 11 minus 2, 9. Okay. 4. 4. All right. Both successes. Uh, your heads are starting to pound a bit at this point. Are we getting any closer? Uh, I don't know, but I don't know how much further I can go. Honestly, I, I cannot concentrate on this. And it, it seems that this pillar is, is moving further away or, or something. Yep. I, I, we're not getting any closer to it that I can tell. All right. Look, does it still hurt when you look away from the pillar? When I look away? It hurts to look... Oh, if I, cl if I look away, does if it If you look hurt? away, if you close your eyes... I mean, I've been closing my eyes because of the pain, and I still sort of feel it, so I, th I, I think so. Well, maybe as long as it's a straight shot ahead of us, two of you could close your eyes. We could just pull your horses behind us, keep going for another mile or so. You can open your eyes, and if we are near the pillar, then you'll be able to tell us. Do, do I notice that the, the horses are in any pain? Um, it's hard to... Tell. Uh, give me a. Uh, I know horses. What? I know horses. Yeah, give me a riding roll. Oh, cool. I can do that. I'm pretty good at that. Okay. Ace. ace. Double oh, ace. Aces. I really know horses. That's wah, another ace. Wah, wah. <laughs> uh, so, 17. 17. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, you are riding Gussie, who is leading Juliet? No, none of us wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. She's a good horse. Gussie. I'll follow her, but I don't want to like have Juliet tied to Gussie. Okay, okay, that's fair. So you're riding, and you just kind of take a scan of the horses that everyone else is riding. And uh, Dot, who is the consummate professional horse, um, <laughs> seems to be uh, just kind of just doing her, her normal walk, but she looks almost fatigued. Uh, she looks like she has been uh, riding for quite a while longer than you actually have been. Uh, and both of their horses, you notice they seem to be having a lot of difficulty keeping them on track, which at first you could ride off easily to these two not being as experienced riders as the two of you are. But over time, uh, just, just keeping an eye on it, it seems like their horses are actively trying to pull away. Gussie is Gussie. <laughs> But she, she doesn't, like... She does not appear to be doing anything out of the ordinary for Gussie. Gussie did go inside. Mm. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, uh, James, you Dot's looking a little tired, don't you think? She does look uh, a little fatigued, yes. I mean, uh, that's awful tired for a pro horse. Pro? Look, what a weird thing to say about a horse. What? <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm just saying she could use for a rest, and uh, your horse is a kind of gussing around, aren't they? Well, look, if this is becoming a problem, we can head back, switch off who can see the pillow and who can't, and try and come on back out again. Uh, but we, we've got to find out what's going on. Well, uh, at this point, the pillar seemingly hasn't done anything to us. We don't plan to stay in this town, right? Maybe we should just forget about it, get a good night's sleep, and leave. Yeah, I, I kind of I kind of like I kind of like that, but I mean these these people seem to be having a problem with it. I mean, I want to know what it is, but this is this is getting ridiculous. It, I mean, yeah, if this continues, I mean we we have to move on tomorrow. I, I, I'm so. sorry. All of you really think we could just go home, go to sleep, and go away from the magic appearing and disappearing pillar that just keeps messing your brains up. I mean, we sleep but, every other night. Why not? We can try. All right, okay, fine. This is, this is one of the least strange things we've run into and we're still sleeping with that. That's yeah, true, well, yeah. All right, okay. I'm I, not gonna shoot a giant pillar, Gabe. I don't know what else I can do here. Wait, 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 wait. That's not a bad idea. Take a shot. No, don't waste bullets what? on the giant pillar. Well, take a shot at the pillar. It's just a bullet, what could happen? I don't, well, wait, he was making a face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, just, let's not do it. <laughs> I'm just well, no, I really actively listening to you. <laughs> just take a shot. What, I, mean, I don't have an unlimited supply of bullets. We're huh? not counting bullets, come on. Here's a bullet. <laughs> I got this at the general store. I came how free many, with my cigarettes. How many, how many bullets do you have, Howell? I have 17. Right. Does Bogue have life drinker on him? Yes. I... <laughs> <laughs> I... Just, I, just <laughs> wondering. Cool. 
<laughs> oh, come on. What's his, the worst that could happen? His definitely not cursed relic gun? Yes, he has it. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? We could look like idiots. Well, who's don't. around to see us? I, I will remember. Will you close your eyes? I'm not shooting at a pillar. Why don't we go back? It doesn't seem like we can go any further right now. You will, it seems to be affecting you and the horses. All right, yeah. yeah Maybe no. if we go back to the inn, Lucas will remember that we had rooms there and we can go to sleep. It and in the be morning... To, no, yes, if people are getting reset every time we leave and come back, just reset. like the pillar is resetting every time we go in somewhere and come back. Maybe more of a switch sort of deal. Yeah. Could be. Well, let's find out. A reset switch. Yes. Something that should be invented sometime in the <laughs> future. Rose, are you um, at all curious about these? Yeah, uh, for sure. So I, I I'll say with you'd be messing with them I every now and then? Probably every now and then, if, if I can feel it. They feel very tender whenever you touch them, but you can't help but just sort of run your fingers over them from time to time just to check if, and see if they are, in fact, still there. And after a little while, when you do that, you feel a little bit of something protruding from your skin. You can actually feel where your skin ends and something else begins to come out. Okay. Uh, well, so are we heading back now? Mm -hmm. Also, James, the shirt you are wearing might as well be uh, a hirsute shirt. <laughs> do you take it off? Sorry. Do you take it off? What? Well, I don't know. How else are you going to know? Why do you want me to? <laughs> I'm just saying, if, if I felt something happen underneath my shirt, I'd take it off to find out. First pro horses, and then you want me to go to shirtless on the trail. I don't, how? Are we turning around and going yep. back to town? Yes. Uh, Bo can take his shirt off in the privacy of his own room, which we have already paid for, and I am not paying for again. I, it, does this, has this changed? Well, it's still looking. You pretty. actually can see what looked like two dark, bony objects just beginning to poke out. Rose, does that hurt? I mean, it's not very what, comfortable. What the hell is going on? I don't know. The skin around it hurts, but those hard points, you feel nothing when you touch them. As I said, they're, they're like little devil horns coming out of your head. I know, you keep saying that. Well, I, it's what it looks like. You ask me how they look. I know, I know, I know. Those look like, I mean, horns, like, how? I, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's got I, well, new hair on his eyes. I know they say every rose has its horns, but I mean, this no, is a thing. Don't say that. Hello. That's not a, a thing. It's not, not a thing. It's a, it's a thumbs down from me, and it feels like from the crowd yes, as well. Yes, you made the yeah. whole time. I can't see them. I see a bunch of thumbs up. <laughs> you can't. Never mind. All right. So All back right. to town. Yes. Yep. Okay, so heading back to the trough. Yeah. To yes. stay in your yes. rooms that you may or may not have paid for. Ooh. So you head back to the trough. You dismount. Uh, Gabe. Your feet feel weird in your boots when you get off of the horses. Just your boot shifts in an uncomfortable way, which is strange because these boots you've been wearing for a long time, they are all but just molded to your feet. Well, I guess every boot has to wear out at some point. Howl, make a notice roll. Okay. Five. Again, as everyone is getting off their horses in various states of unease, you feel the distinct impression that you are being watched. I'll take a look around. Do I see anything in a window? You don't see anything in a window. Okay. But over in the shadow between two buildings, you do see what looks like a figure just sort of standing back away into the, into the overhanging shade just staring at you. Right, There's gonna... something almost familiar about this figure. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a moment and see if they move at all. I'm gonna just dash towards them. Okay, so you wait for a moment, and the figure just stays there. Again, you can't make out anything really about them except that you get the impression that it's a man and nothing happens as you regard them and then all of a sudden you just dash straight for them and they just slowly turn and walk back between the buildings, and as you run over there and just spring out into the alleyway between the two of them to catch them unawares, the alleyway is empty. Oh, God, come on. All right, quick confirmation. Hal just ran away, right? Yes, that okay. is accurate. I just don't know what I can see anymore. Well, I think Gussie, he might take after Gussie in a way. It does seem that way. I heard that. <laughs> I'll come marching back and say, no, I thought I, thought I saw someone me and I just wanted to catch them before they ran off and, and there's nobody out there. I don't... You didn't find anyone. 
No, was, I, I ran pretty fast, and I didn't see anybody. Everything here is strange, and my dogs are barking. I want to <laughs> get into the... I want to get into my room and get my shoes off. All right. All right, yeah, let's, let's rest up. Okay, but if anything else weird happens, we don't stay here, yes? I... Well, we don't have another option. And let's be upfront about it, too. Let's not hide anything about it. I'm just saying. It's better that we know what's happening. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's... Okay. All right. Let's get some rest. Maybe things will be normal in the morning. It is still about, like, maybe 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> about time to turn uh, in. Uh, not a whole lot of time has passed. So I like mean, a, you're free to sleep for the evening if you want. So, uh, like, a local arcade we could go to, or... <laughs> By there arcade, do you mean a, a place in which you could promenade with your betrothed? Yes. What? That kind of hitting on me? Or, or is there a, a mall food court? <laughs> <laughs> There's not. There's not a lot here. We gotta invent that. <laughs> uh, well, I say we get ourselves maybe resupplied. There was the general yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk to Olivia. Yes, we can do that. And All right. Let's switch pillows too. I think by going into a place that might happen anyway. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, yes. You're all right. So you'll get supplies. We'll go sure. in. We'll get supplies. Okay. Just because our heads hurt. Bad. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are walking into the trough to yeah. try and take your rooms. Yeah. yeah. And you guys are heading back to the general store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you walk into the trough. And uh, Lucas just looks up. Oh, uh, you're back. Yeah, your rooms are just down, uh, down the hall there. You didn't get the keys, but I got them up here. He just puts two keys down on the, on the bar. What? You sure ran out in a hurry what? after getting rooms for your horses, which I still need the dollar for. Uh, right, the other one will pay for that. Uh, <laughs> when uh, you don't remember us coming back here at all? Can, uh, uh, what? Well, you said we ran out. Yeah, you ran out. Before we, you see us, too. Did you, at any point, did you see us come back in here? You're, you're here now, and I'm telling you, you forgot your keys. Right. So I got your keys. Great. They're here. Fantastic. And your rooms are just down the hall. 100%. Um, well, uh, okay. All right, Lucas, now, uh, you got a coffee can of money that you keep your money in, right? Because you told me earlier you did. I mean, the, I don't uh, recall telling you anything about that, and right, I don't know how you would know. Let's pretend I can. Uh, <laughs> they do that, you know, at most uh, saloons. So it's just a tradition as it goes, of course. So how much money is in there? Make a persuade roll. Thought you'd get past that. Uh, I'm really good at persuade. But you're not. You're untrained in persuade. He don't forget to modify yeah. this by your negative charisma as well. Yeah. <laughs> It's only a minus four. My God. D4 minus four. Uh, that is a zero. So Hal just comes in and is like, how much money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the coffee can. Where's the coffee can of money? Listen, listen, all right? I don't want any trouble. My coffee can is all I got. And I don't recall telling you anything about it, but if you're here to make trouble, there, listen, there ain't much in here except for the, the dollars you gave me. You can have them back. Oh, no, we don't, we don't want just, your... Let's just go to our room. I'm not no. robbing you. No, 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 we wouldn't do that. Here, we wouldn't... We wouldn't ever do that. <laughs> well, I just thought maybe you and... No? All right. I want, what? I don't want to speak for everybody. I mean, I would never, but I didn't want to, you know, put words in your mouth. Wow. Where's my room? Wow. Just around, just down the hall. I'm going to go. All right, and you guys head over to the general store. Mm -hmm. All so, right. So you saw it. You, you see it. We did. And you remember seeing us? Of course. All right. Well, when we went back to Lucas, he had no idea who we were. We tried to ride off towards the pillar, and those of us who could see it, which were the other two, started to get uh, some fierce headaches, and we had to turn around. Yeah, yeah you can't get close to it. Have I you tried going towards it when you can't see it, remembering where it is and just heading that direction. Well, I, I could. I have no, I, uh, no concept of how far away it is. Uh, it, it, it could be, it looks like it could either be very far away and very thick or very close and narrow and tall. Well, those are the two options. <laughs> well, uh, 
we're here to uh, resupply, so. Oh, uh, well, I, as you can tell, I, I don't have much here, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to do what I can. Do you carry any boots? Mine are feeling a little strange. They're feeling very loose now, actually. As you're walking around, the heels are slipping with every, uh, every step what that happened? you take. What happened to I your don't boots? know. Maybe my feet are feeling strange because of all the walking we've been doing. Uh, boots would be something I'd have to put in a, an order for. That could take some time. I, Do you well, have... these are probably fine. Are you sure? Do you have some sort of cobbler in town? Uh, no, ain't, ain't, ain't much cause for, for a cobbler. So here's my question. People remember things sometimes. Other times they don't, correct? Uh, well, yes and no. What? What's yes. It? Yes. When you see Lucas, sometimes he knows that there's a pillar there. Correct. And other times he acts as though it was never there at all. Yes, and gets very uh, insulting. Well, my... This may be a strange thing to assert, but it seems like whenever you go through doors in this town, something shifts. Well, yeah, I thought that too. Something well, like a whole world shifts. But it doesn't always work that way. All right, but why is that? Why, why, why do you remember us this time? I don't know. Why, how come you haven't forgotten me? How come you haven't already left the town? Most people just ride on through. Well, we tried. And that pillar sent our friends running back. Yeah, it's not a pleasant sensation. I, I, I don't know. I don't understand what's going on here. I mean, is there any other information that stands out to you that you could give us? Maybe anyone else who, who seems to consistently either not see or see the pillar. Not, not from what I've seen, no. I mean, the marshal's been acting strange of late, but other than that, uh, everyone's been acting strange. So sometimes they can't remember the pillar, sometimes they do. All right, but what's the marshal been doing since you named him? Well, he's then? always been a quiet man, but I ain't seen him come out of his office in several days now. I we went by his office. Uh, his office when we were on our way out. You'd have to, yeah. Maybe we should give him a quick visit if he hasn't been out there for a while. I, I suppose you could. Well, I guess we'll be back. You seem to be the only one here who's got their head on their shoulder. For the time being, at least, but I have no idea how long it's going to be before I can't even remember there's a pillar here in the middle of town, and then I'll, I'll forget you when you come in through, and I, I have to tell you, that's a very upsetting thing to Wait, well, be trying uh, to wrestle with. Uh, uh, all right. If you can't remember us when we come in next, we'll go out the door, we'll come back in, and maybe you'll be able to remember us again. Seems like that might be how this works. Maybe somehow we're stepping between two different versions of this town. I don't know. Let's head back to the trough. All right. Find the others, and, and I, I'll let them know what I'm thinking here. If, if Lucas remembered who they were, well, that, that adds more credence to my, my idea. Let's go find out then. <clears throat> do, you, do you have any sort of creams or anything for... Rose here has been getting some strange protrusions on her head. You seen anything like this before? Like what? Like this, on right here, you can't see it. Rose, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's all right. We'll head back and see if we can figure things out over there. All right. All right, well, if, if I can be of any further service, you know where to find me. Thank you, ma'am. So, heading back to the trough? Yeah. Yep, so you walk back outside. And you still cannot see the pillar. We just went inside. Well, Shouldn't we be able to see that now? I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what triggers it, but it seems like there's two versions of this world. Sometimes in this town, you can, you're, you're with the people who can see the pillar, and sometimes you're not. I, I don't understand. Well, let's just go back into the trough and mm. find James and Howell. Sure. Yes, I agree. So let's head back. We head back to the trough. OK. Uh, Lucas just kind of gives you a non-committal greeting when you come in and, and points to your keys and then points back behind the bar. Well, there we go. I pick up the keys and I'm going to head. Uh, did you guys head to your room? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll rooms. head to the room and knock. Mm -hmm. which, which, both of our rooms? Mm -hmm. At the same time. Have you taken off your shirt? <laughs> yes. 
Okay. Ooh. Uh, your torso is is all but covered in this thick black coarse hair. And this is actual play, so we're gonna need. <laughs> <laughs> chop chop. No no no. We'll be doing theater of the mind for this. <laughs> Uh, and, and you can almost feel it pushing itself out of your skin. You can't see it happening, but you can feel it happening, and you feel your thighs beginning to itch beneath your pants as well. Oh, this is mighty uncomfortable. Okay. Well, I should tell the others. And there's a knock at the door. One moment. Oak, help! We gotta talk. All right, I'll, I'll step out. Uh, All right. So you step out, and right away you notice that Rosaline has what looked like two tiny horns sticking out of her forehead. What? Well, you can see it. What? Yeah. Well, the, the, the lady over at the general store couldn't see it. He Before can see now, it. now, she was the only one who seemed to be able to see things the same way we could. What Lucas was, remembers who we are now. Do, do they hurt? Like, I don't know. They do hurt a little bit. I mean, what? I can't feel this part. But around it hurts. When we came out of the general store, we couldn't see the pillar. We still can't see it. How's my head feel at this point? Uh, much better. OK. Well, uh, my, my, uh, my head's feeling much better, but I, I mean, I'm a little worried to go outside and see if I can see it now. All right, look, look what, what I'm thinking is that there are somehow two versions of this town, and going through the doors is, is pulling us from one to the other in some way. Two versions? There is a soft voice from behind all of you in the room. Well, uh, that's an interesting theory, but uh, I don't know that I think that that's quite 100% correct. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. And you turn and find the unmistakable figure of the wraith standing in the back darkness of the room, his tall, thin silhouette, his very pale skin, and his stringy white hair underneath his fine top hat as he shuffles a deck of cards. I just want to get in front of everybody and just kind of block. I, I immediately pull my gun and yes. point it at him. I, I, I also pull Life Drinker. Knife. I pull Scarlet. Oh. <laughs> oh, you pull Life Drinker, so you're like, no, no, I'm committed to this fight. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, oh, you're back? I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> you're like, it was a mistake not killing you before. Yeah. <laughs> I've thought on it. I apologize. I didn't mean to uh, catch you off guard. What, what are you doing here? What? what you went with... The what is going on? Right, this is some sort of trick. I thought the Pinkertons had him. Right? But they're not you think, the Pinkertons. You think that your, your agency can hold someone like me if I don't want to be held? I think I they are mighty well better. equipped to do such. Do you? Well, that just continues to show your ignorance of your situation. Well, what situation is that then? Why don't you enlighten us since you're here? Oh, now, why would I do that? Because this is ever so much more fun. Well, well then... because the other option is that our friend James over here will put his gun to your temples and paint the wall behind you. Or maybe five feet back, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm being dramatic. Game, game joke. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> is I that it? I, We're resorting to threats of violence right away. Well, oh, these are threat? promises of violence. I see. We're here to talk, right? Or something. What are you here for? Oh, no. I'm just here to watch, and I was just having too much fun to resist. Well, we don't much lack an audience. What are you watching? Oh, well, the four of you, of course. Why? Why? Because you are endlessly entertaining, and because I have uh, secured new employment since last we met. From whom? Oh, just a mutual friend. Well, I don't recommend being employed by the friend I think you're referring to. He tends to waver. Well, if you'll recall, you uh, beat me almost half to death and left me to rot in prison for the rest of my life, so you'll apologize if I do not take your advice. You're no, right. wait, I'll apologize. Sorry, it's been a while since I've had a civilized conversation. You're right. We showed uh, extreme lack of judgment by only beating you half to death. Oh, and I think you will live to regret that, Mr. Pryor. Well? I step up with Life Drinker, and I point it at his head, and I say, unless you have any other words that you want to impart on this uh, conversation, then I suggest you leave, or I will shoot your head off. You're going to let him leave, James. Well, I have to wonder how he got here in the first place without us noticing. 
I do have just a few words, Mr. Bope. I just wanted to let you know that all of this is really happening. That's all. What does that mean? What is really happening? We're all here. I'm not as patient as my friend James, and I'm going to put my gun out and fire it at his head. And as you were doing that, he is already calling to his hand a hand of shimmering sapphire cards that wink out instantaneously, and he winks into the shadows of the room and out to wherever it is that he has gone. Ah, the tricks are so well, bitch. And of course he's going to do that. What, what does that mean? How did the pickle Every... tunes lose him? I don't get it. What? He's playing with our heads. That's what's going on here. Well, I don't, I don't know that that's the kind of power he could have. Well, the man has set some sort of deal with chaos, and he's, he's creating some sort of hex on this town. That's what's going on. Well, you think he has something to do with that pillar out there? As Gabe is talking, you all can see he's having a very difficult time keeping his balance. He seems to just be kind of teetering around Gabriel, a bit. Gabriel, what is wrong? I'm sorry, what? I think there's something in my shoes. They well, haven't been feeling Why don't you take them off? All right, now I'm going to kick my shoes off. OK. So when you do that, uh, the first thing you notice is that your feet look wrong. The second thing you notice is that they have been just almost smashed in on themselves, and your toes appear to have fused together, and the skin on your feet seems to be developing some sort of bark-like crust. For this, I'm going to need a guts roll, Gabe. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to be guts at a minus two. Just him, not us? Just him. All right. Unless so you think that this would be something. That that's guts at a minus two. I rolled no. a four, but I have a grit of four. Okay. So it's a okay, net plus two, so that's a six. All right, so you are able to keep it together. Maybe it's the fact that James is already sprouting coarse hair and Rosaline has what appeared to be two stubs of horns sticking out of her forehead, but yes, while this is upsetting, you do not lose it. All right, whatever he is doing to us, the lady at the general store could not see what was going on, so we have to imagine this is some sort of spell. Well, even though he said it was all real, it could be an illusion of some sort. We have no reason to take his word for it. But that's true, we don't. Why, can why? We, we can all see it, right? Yes. Okay. Why, why, what's, what's, why? Well, hold on, so I have this, and you have this hair. Something's wrong with your feet. What's going on with you, anything? I don't, I don't know. I'm going to start taking off my hand wraps. Okay. And, like, my, looking into my shirt. And Everything my seems pants. fine with you so far. How? Why did you run off while we were outside the other? Well, I, t I told you, I, I thought I saw something. I thought I saw someone staring at me in the alley. Now, I could have been the rape. You hear a thumping sound coming from the roof above you, Hal. Oh, shit, Gussie's up there. Do we, right. Wait, wait, <laughs> do we hear that? You do not. We don't hear it? Oh, OK. What, what you makes you think Gussie is up there? We didn't hear some thumping come from the roof? All right, no. OK. No. Hal is hearing and seeing things. This is something we can just accept. What? Now, it seems to me like we are turning into some sort of horned devil. It does kind of uh, seem that way. Coarse hair, some sort of horns, and my, my feet are turning into hooves of some sort. Oh, and I'm just a loony, huh? Well, I don't know how it fits into this howl. I'm simply trying to figure out what is going on in this impractical situation. All right, well, I mean, I'm going to go up there. i got to see what is making this noise. Well, maybe we should go with you. I mean, hell yeah, I'm not going alone. All right. Oh, if we see the wraith again, I expect you will just pull life drinker and put a couple in his forehead to make sure he is done. You won't faster. have to pull life drinker. He already pulled life drinker and did not draw blood with it, so the gun is stuck in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a feature, not a curse. <laughs> <laughs> just a feature. All right. I'm gonna go to the roof then. Uh, all right, Lucas, is there a way for me to get to your roof? Don't ask me why. So you've walked out to talk to Lucas? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Don't ask me why. All right. But wait, but, but did, did you hear anything on the roof? No. But. By the way, do we have rooms from you? Are they not back there? No. <laughs> I just, we definitely Don't, rented rooms from you, correct. We Correct. didn't just walk out of those rooms. Correct. All right, All just, right. just check in. All right, let's go to where, where how do we get to your roof? Uh, do you, is there a balcony on, on uh, is this a two-story building? I'll, it is I'll, not. Okay. <laughs> I'll just, I'll figure it out. I'll just figure it out. I'll run outside. Okay. Um, so you run outside uh, to the back of the building? Sure. 
Sure, there's Wherever a I see some sort of I can flip climbing. up there. There's there's some there's some some barrels and, and, and broken crates back there that you could sort of loosely pile together. Um, but I'm gonna need an agility roll to get up on the roof. Ooh. This is not the steadiest construction, so give it to me at a minus two. Yeah, okay. Uh, ace, D8. Ace. Well, then you're gonna be fine. Double I think ace. Double ace, you okay. You have ace almost every roll. Ha. Save this uh, for when it's important. I, <laughs> I'm just a loony person. Uh, yeah, that's a billion. Okay, so you just, you <laughs> shove some stuff together and then just using your own momentum, just kind of run up it and jump, grab onto the, the roof and pull yourself up. All right, who's up here? There is what looks like a very small figure wrapped in a cloak on the far end of the roof, almost Almost to the front of the building, but not so close to the front that you'd be able I to see them from the street. I want to get up there too. I want to get up on okay. the roof too. Okay, uh, you can use there. what he constructed. I'm going to need an agility roll from can you. Can I like do a flip too? And, uh... I would say you can just do it nimbly. You don't have to do a flip in order to well, use once acrobatics. I, once I hear her moving, I will help her up. What is my agility right now? Your agility is normal right now. Hmm. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, okay, I, I'm sorry, you said I'm just making an agility roll. Yeah, but you get your acrobatics bonus. I get my acrobatics bonus, okay, which is plus two, so that gives me an eight. Okay, so yes, you also just very quickly scamper up the side and leap up next to Howl. Do you see that, Miss Burns? Do I? You do. I do. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm go, I'm go take a look. All right, I'll come with you. Uh, all right. And you two are just waiting down behind the building? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so you start walking across the top of the building towards this hunched, cloaked figure. Mm -hmm. I have Scarlet and Mary. Okay, and you've walked about halfway across the roof just very tentatively, and there's been no movement from them. Hello? And then at, at that, the figure kind of twitches its head underneath whatever it is that's cloaking itself and pulls it back, and you see the scraggly gray crazy hair woven with beads and feathers of an Indian shaman that you remember seeing uh, a while before by the name of Star Lizard. Hello, oh. Hal oh. Melton. Star Lizard. What are you doing are you? here? Miss Bird. hello. Uh, hello, why are you up on the roof? I've been trying to get your attention. All right, well, well you done did that, what are you doing? Listen, I don't have much time, but everything here is not what it seems to be. Clearly. You need to get to the pillar. You need to get beneath the pillar. Uh, how do we do that? In order to reach it, you must prove your willingness to work with one another. But in order to leave, you must prove your willingness to sacrifice. What? Sacrifice what? I can say more but only when you can get beneath the pillar. Well, what can you tell us? Join together. The number four is a number of power. But can you tell us what's happening? And then he just sort of fades away <sighs> right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Do we see the pillar? Yes. All right, so uh, I suppose we have to try to get to the pillar because I don't want to live with horns on my head for the rest of my life. They are now actually, Hal, as she points that out, uh, they are continuing to push out of her head. They are now clearly hooking up a little bit as I mean, they go. I, I don't know, I think they're growing on you. Well, that is literally what they're doing, Howl. Right. Uh, all right, let's get back down, tell the others. Okay, yeah, we'll go back down. Okay. All right, I imagine they just relay what was said. Yes. yes. Do you right. believe us? Yeah, no, Star yes. Lizard was definitely up there. It was, it was Star all Lizard. All right, all right. Star Lizard says things aren't as they appear, and the Wraith says things are as they appear, and it sounds to me like we don't trust the Wraith, so, I Look, can I see the pillar now? All of you can see the pillar now. We gotta get to that pillar. We can all see it now. Let's head in that direction. Uh, we were told the marshal was strange, so let's pop in there, see if he's even someone we can talk to, but I think we need to make it to the pillar now before whatever happens here is irreversible. I right. think talking to anyone at this point beyond Star Lizard and the Wraith are just gonna be more pawns in this scheme. I so I, I yeah, say I we know. just go for the pillar. I don't know who we can trust. I think we one. should go to the pillar. As fine, well. fine. But to get to the pillar, we need to show our willingness to sacrifice what? Work together, I think is what you said. Something like that. We needed to sacrifice and work together. For but which I thing? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it was work together <laughs> to get there, sacrifice and to, to get out. Yes. All right, so, so we gotta work together to get there. Maybe we all ride one horse. 
What, oh, what, oh, we can trade one horse. No. Oh, no. You know more about horses than we do. Like, well, I don't carry us. All right, I'm four gone. is a number of power. That was said, too. Look, let's just ride in that direction. Now that all four of us can see it, maybe we'll be able to make more progress. Maybe prop, we right? should okay. walk and right. leave the horses here. It seems to be hard on them as well. Yeah, well, walking no, I, is a little hard on me. I can carry you, preacher. Well, wait, is, is it? Hard? It is, yes. Okay. Suddenly, oh, oh, suddenly it's very difficult for him to find his balance right. and it's... No, that's fine. All right. We can Look, take the horses. Are you still I wearing just... your shoes? I, I, think, I, I think they're off now. They don't fit okay. well. <laughs> his feet are moving in a way that is very uncomfortable to watch. It's like his ankle is kind of just shifting where it bends almost every time you look at it. All right, that seems to be getting worse. Maybe we should just ride as fast as we can. Yes, let's, whatever we do, right. let's do it now. All right, let's, let's make sure we can all see it. Yes, I see it. Uh, let's, all right, then let's go right Check. Now. Yeah. All right, so you're all just riding hellbent for leather towards yeah, the pillar. I think, yes. I think full speed, too. Yes, yeah. yeah, so let's, let's try to look at it as little as possible, I suppose. Okay. We should, we should try holding hands or something while we're doing it? I don't know. Actually, Gabe, despite saying that, instead of like an act of stubbornness, is just going to stare straight at the pillar and like try and force himself to keep watching. Okay. As he goes. And you, and you just take off. Uh-huh. All right. Make a spirit roll. All of us? Yes. I spirit. Good. I don't. Aced on a d12. Bum, bum, bum. Whoa. I spirit. Very okay. Good. Nice. I got a four. That works. 19. Uh oh, oh we're going to be re rolling that with a yeah, white fate ship. All right. What'd you get? 19. Jeez. 19. You are spirited. Yeah, right. well, I'm staring at the pillar. That's a six. A six? Yeah. I got a five. Five? Uh, FYI. Yes. We have passed $500. Whoa! We have. Oh, wow. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys you are all so amazing. Much. Thank you. Thank you guys. So, so that Thank was uh, five hundred. Was the uh, the hastily scribbled thing that I had written here. So I will cross that off. That is the last thing that I have to add to the game Ooh. at this point. But if you are continuing to want to donate to a great cause, please feel free to do so. Uh, but thank you guys very much. That, thank you. that is amazing. Thank you. So thank you. Much. Um, okay, so you're all heading towards it, and you all feel this intense pressure behind your eyes as your horses just are galloping straight away towards this pillar. But you're all continuing to make. Your, your way that way, and you continue to go, but as all of you watch, uh, Gabriel, is Gabriel the only one watching the pillar? I mean, I feel like we have to look at it every now and then. Sure. I, mean, I'm, I think I'm yeah. trying to like look over here. We're, and then we're so taking turns. I, I, I would imagine we would have set, I mean, if he's gonna be stubborn and watch it all, but we would take like yeah. turns doing the, the, the watching. Like two people would not watch sure. and one person would for yes. a, a while. Okay, so you guys are kind of trying to avert your eyes and, yeah. and, and whatnot, uh -huh. but Gabriel, you said you were staring it down the whole yes. time. Yes. Okay, so you're continuing to move forward. Uh, make another spirit roll for me at a minus two. All of us? Yes. Uh, that is a six. Six? That's poopy. Okay. <laughs> Rerolling your poopy roll. Mm, minus two. I'm going to re-roll it. Okay. Gabe, oh, Gabe actually will, uh, as, as you like start to look is away, it's like, no, we can't let this thing control us. So I'll give you a fate chip so you can re-roll it. With common bond, okay? Common yeah. bond. I got a no, You already spent one. it. You okay. keep that one as an extra. Okay, oh, you're rolling it again? Roll okay. <laughs> I got a one and a two. I think I have to ace it. I got two threes. Oh, sorry. Two threes. Okay. I'm not doing I got a nine. Rose? Nine? I got a three. What? Three. Okay, so. Add a d6. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. Don't fail. You're not failing this. I got a five. I'm sure he's going to give you a bunch of things. Which gives me a, a six total mm -hmm. with the he's minus gonna give you two. Okay. Yeah, so sure. thank you. everyone is continuing to, to, well, Gabriel's continuing to stare it down the whole way, and you guys are kind of averting your eyes and looking back at it. But Gabriel, you can see uh, what you didn't see before because you couldn't see the pillar. And even though you guys are galloping at a dead, almost, almost a dead sprint on your horses towards this, you don't appear to be getting any closer. And you can see that clearly. As you all get closer, your heads start to pound, but James it becomes overwhelming, and you just feel all of the energy start to fade out of your body. You take a level of fatigue, and I need Ooh. you to make a riding roll to stay horsed. Whoa. Okay. I got this. No worries. Hold on. Gab Gabriel's about to give him all his fade chips to make sure he passes. Yeah. Three fade chips! Take them! <laughs> oh, that's just a rose thing? Cool. <laughs> uh, a minus two, you say? Uh, I didn't say a minus for the writing roll, but it is oh, going to be minus one minus for your fatigue one. level. It's a minus one for fatigue. Four. Yeah. Four. Okay, so all of a sudden, your head just cracks, uh, and this intense pain just sort of shoots through it that sends you reeling and almost knocks you off of your saddle. But you're able to stay uh, on top of Dot and, and right yourself, uh, but you do not feel well. Oh, well, are we there? Are we almost there? James, 
keep yourself together. I know it is hard, but we have to keep, we have to work together and make it to the pillar. All of this is being shouted out over galloping yeah. hoofsteps. Yeah. James, well, we're, we're not keep getting, yourself together. We're not getting any closer. What do we, We've got to keep trying. Well, hold on, maybe there's something else we need to do. Are you stopping or continuing to go? No, we gotta stop. Yeah, I think we have to stop for just a moment. Okay, so you stop. Does anyone look back towards the town? Yeah. You seem to be as far away from the town as Actually, you would expect to be. Yeah, wait, oh, someone else look back at the town. I'm gonna keep staring oh, at the Oh, well, pillar. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll look I'll back. back. Right. Okay. You seem to be about as far away from the town as you would expect to be. Ah. Uh, but looking back towards the pillar, it's like you've made no progress whatsoever. What the hell? There, there right. has to be some other way, right? We can't, we can't just ride like this forever. Right, well, Let's continue on foot, maybe. All have to look at it. James, there is now that coarse black hair starting to sprout from your neck. Oh. All right, that's getting very itchy. All right, well. And I'd like to make it to the pillar soon. All right, let's. I would too. Yeah, all right, we just, everybody stare at it straight ahead. All right. Let's just try it. I don't know what else we can do. All right. Let's uh, try it. Yeah. All right, that's what we're doing. Keep your eyes on it. It's going to be hard, but we can make it. Okay. So you guys get off your horses and just start walking towards the pillar with your eyes on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I need everyone to make a spirit roll for me at a minus four. <sighs> minus four. That's a, well, a ace Ooh. on a six. Wow. Ace on a six. So I did two. I got <gasps> a four. Oh, four. Uh, a four? <laughs> are you re-rolling or are you adding a d6 to that roll with your blue fate chip? This is minus four, you said? Yes. Plus your fatigue. Narked. Yeah, so minus five for you. <laughs> Nark! Nark! <laughs> Nark and Thank hard. you. I'm re rolling. <laughs> he deserves it. Re rolling the whole thing. Yeah, ooh, yeah, baby. That's a negative three. Yeah. Okay. I got a three. A three? Yeah. Okay. A four? Yeah, I got a four. And you get, oh, you're re-rolling? Yeah. Okay. Last oh. one. Last fate chip. I don't know if I should re-roll. So let's squell the last Ace. one. Ace! Ace! Yes! Oh, no! Did you get a one? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah I, I got did. a one. So that's, that's a minus four is a three. That's why I got my three. Yeah, very close, but no cigar. Okay, moving on. Did you make it? I got a seven. Seven, okay. Rose, your head just s splits. It, it, that's what it feels like. Your head is pounding. You take a fatigue level. <laughs> Um, and then, as you guys are walking forward, keeping your eyes on the pillar, you two, Gabriel and Howell, uh, you become aware that it's just the two of you now. Like no one else is around? Where yes. did they go? You two they find were... yourselves back, uh, you, you kind of shake your head to clear it and find yourselves back at the edge of Moodyton. What the, how did we, what, we, Bogue, Rose? And you look back and see them far back past the horses, back at the edge of town. Oh, so if we look forward, we can see them? You can see them, yeah. But how you're just suddenly very far away from them. How did we get all the way back here? What, what? Uh, I don't know, but we have to get back there. What do we, we keep pushing through, Preacher? What do we do? We've got to stick together. You heard what they said. I, I, I think we should just get back over there. Yeah. I let's, think. Let's go back and get them. Well, it looks like they're coming this way. Well, we'll meet them in the middle then. All right. Um, yeah, all right. We should go back to where the horses are, basically, and take the horses so we can catch up faster. Yeah. And we can pull okay. the other two. So you guys are moving back towards the horses. I need a spirit roll from you guys. And you guys are heading back towards them to meet them? Yeah. No roll from you. Spirit with no negatives. Except for your fatigue, which you right. both have. Uh, I still just one fatigue? Line? Yep. Okay. Oh, thank God. The Aced it. Two. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's a 13. Rerolling? Re okay, 13. I got two threes again. You keep rolling threes. Yeah. I do. Two threes specifically. That's weird. I know. Huh. Uh, I only have one more fate chip. I mean. I don't have but, any. But you know what? Gabriel's strength <laughs> gets you through. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I should probably. Uh, wait. It's a minus. It's only minus one. Okay. I'm going to re-roll it. So okay. You can get that. Remember when Gabriel's strength got you through? I know. I was just thinking of Gabriel. I yeah. got two fours, which leaves me with three. So effectively, you rolled two threes. <laughs> That's exactly it. Okay. Um, you feel. You could have added a d6 to I that. I know, but I didn't want him to have it. <laughs> He's got five! I know! That's just spiteful. I don't um, want him to have six! Are you, are you going to stay with that roll? Everyone else, succeed, you succeeded? 
I did. Very well. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm going to need it. You wasted my last one. I'll add a D6. Wasted. How Wait, quickly? You gave it to her freely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but she, she, yeah. if she added a D6, she would have like almost automatically she Don't did. dictate Punish what me. she did. So are you rolling a D6? You're adding a D6 to that? Yeah, well, I got a one. Which, which is all know. you needed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so. so again, you both feel that intense pressure behind your eyes, but you're able to continue struggling forward. Uh. Although this, this is feeling very unpleasant. And as you guys are walking back towards them, you can see that they're having great difficulty making it to meet you in the middle. Howl, can you make a smarts roll for me, please? Oh, just keep happening. Uh, no, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incapable. You have no idea why this is happening, Howell. Wow. Well. <clears throat> you guys both heading back towards the horses still? Rose. I mean, yeah. Rose, when we turned around and looked at the uh, town, we were far away from it. Yes? Yes. Perhaps we walked backwards towards the pillar. I suppose we could try it, but it might... <sighs> We could try. It might just put us right back where we are. Oh, no. It could. It couldn't hurt. All right. At least we know we're moving away, yes? Yes, I'm willing to try it. Okay. So you guys are walking backwards towards the pillar. Yes. This is silly. Well, they look possessed. What's wrong with them? And you guys are, are getting closer to the horses as well, so you're, you're almost uh, in range of them. So you could ask them that. And it's probably yep. pretty hard to walk at this point, right? For, for you. Yes, it's so very I'll, hard. You might honestly have to have an arm on so I'll on have an him. arm over Hal as we're like kind of going. <sighs> Y'all all right? Why are you walking that way? We thought maybe if we didn't look at it, we could get to it. Oh, that's we, clever as hell. We know that we're moving forward by looking at the town. Well, how, how, how's your head feel? Uh, not much better. Not much better. That's what, I'll just keep relaying. What he said. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's all do it at the same time, and let's just try it. All right. We will all walk so, backwards. So you guys have gotten, you're all at the horses, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. I need you all to make a notice roll for me. Notice, 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 notice. I aced move my day! I, I got a seven. I got a seven as well. A seven? I also got a seven. Wait. I got a, yeah. Yeah. I got you got a seven? Oh, wait, six. I got a seven. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so everyone got a seven. No, I got a five. Okay, all right, that sounds better. Um, but you all succeed, which is why, as you're um, walking backwards towards the horses and walking forwards to meet your backwards walking companions, you notice a figure standing over underneath a tree that you could swear was not there uh, a few moments ago. Uh, but he appears to just be reclining against the tree, just resting in the shade. Do we recognize him? You do. Oh, good. <laughs> But he is not doing anything but standing there with his hands clasped in front of him and just staring at all of you with an intensity, an intensity that you don't recall seeing on his face before. Right, let's, just, let's just ignore that. Let's just keep going. What's your game, you scary bastard? My game. As I said, I'm just watching. He does not sound like the Wraith anymore. Who are you? Oh, come now, Gabriel. I should think, after all the times that we have come in contact, that you would greet me as a friend at this point. But this is just rude. I remember you. How many times must I introduce myself before you remember me? It'd be helpful if you're wearing a different face. Oh, I do grow so tired of the same outfit day after day. And what's happening? What's happening? Why all of this? It's all real. What does that Whatever mean? Whatever you may be being told to the contrary, I wouldn't believe it. Look, if you want to destroy us, we know you have the power to do so. Maybe I do. Perhaps I don't. But well, there's no point in talking to you if you're just going to speak in riddles, so we might as well keep going. I'm not here to speak in riddles, Miss Byrne. I'm here to tell you that there is a member of your little band of friends that you all seem to pass over all too frequently. What does that mean? One of you has already figured out how to reach the pillar, but no one listened. What? 
Hal, poor sweet Hal. I am talking about you. What, what did I, I don't. What, what do you know, Hal? I don't know, I don't know what he's talking about. What, I said, uh, I don't, hold hands? We gotta hold hands to get. Oh, now, Hal, that's just silly. You offered to carry me. Just walk and hold hands all the way to the pillar? Now, you would look ridiculous. Well, we look ridiculous walking backwards. <sighs> you make an interesting point, Hal. You do look ridiculous walking backwards. Oh, he's just playing with us. He doesn't mean anything. I don't know. I have he... never lied to you. Well, think, think about the different things that you said. Uh, I, or what, did you, did you have any thoughts about this pillar? Hal, you don't even believe in yourself, do you? Fine, well, give me your hand, Howell. <laughs> oh, that's the spirit, James. All right. Don't worry, I'm not really here, right? None of this is real, so you've nothing to fear from me. Ooh, scary chaos. We're going to end you one day. Hmm. Well, let's you march. all look adorable. Let's, let's march, let's not pay attention and let's just march. Let's go. All right, so you've all joined hands. Yes and you're walking in a straight line <laughs> towards the pillar. Yep, damn right. Make a spirit roll for me. <laughs> Modifier, plus two. Plus Hooray! two? Ooh. I might be able to, I die too. The power of friendship. 11. <laughs> What's wrong, James? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a two. Uh-oh. Plus two is a four. Yay! The minus one for fatigue is a three. Oh, crap! I you nerfed yourself. Hey, hey Jimmy. Fun. Jimmy. Jimmy Boggs. <laughs> Jimmy Boggs. <laughs> I'll give you a just, fake just give it, chip. Don't just, try to. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take it directly. It. Please don't throw it across the stage. <laughs> I, I considered it. There it is. All right, there we go. Sweet. Get it. We're good. You're all doing just fine. Don't worry about how you must look to anyone who's watching. It's fine. You hold hands all the time with family members, like and we're family. I, like I think if you continue on in this way, that you should make it there no problem. All I'm doing is uh, thinking just, about the day when we get to kill him. Just ignore him. Do not listen to a word he is saying. And then you look back, mm -hmm. and the tree is gone, mm -hmm. and so is chaos. And the four of you are standing holding hands and looking back at the pillar. You actually appear to have made a little bit of progress towards it. it it's, it's working. It's, we got a long way to go. All right. Uh, well, let's do it then. All right. Yeah. Okay. So we we continue on. Okay. And even though you still feel that sort of high pressurized sensation behind your eyes, nothing gets worse the closer you get to the pillar. And as you continue to walk towards it, now definitely making progress, you do in fact see that it was not as far away as it looked. It's just very narrow and very, very tall. <laughs> but as you get closer to this gigantic rust-colored pillar of stone, you see what looks like a small dark opening at the base of it, inviting you to enter down into the earth below it. That's where we need to go. Yeah. All right. so, Keep your hands clasped. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in let's one go. at a time in a row. Let's just go. All right. I'll go first. OK, so I guess we okay. entered. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're keeping all of your hands together. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. In a train. Yes. Mm -hmm. How first? Shoot, shoot. You walk down into the dark hole in front of you. We don't like trains, they explode. And you walk out into a very familiar space, How? As far as you can tell, you walked down into the darkness of this tunnel until the light left and left you in pitch blackness as you continued forward, but just for a moment, because after that you walked out into your old house back by Coldwater Creek, before it was burned down and your wife was taken from you. Um, the four of you are all standing in this house, which you've all been inside of at least once. Gabriel was not there. Except for Gabriel, who was not there. Continuity narc. Continuity narc. Continuity <laughs> narc, sure. He's right, though. I, wouldn't, I don't know where I am. Uh, None of you would recognize it except for Howell, necessarily. It's not, sure. it's not a remarkable frontier home. But it is. <laughs> it's not. I did my best. <laughs> it's okay. But how to you? This is everything. It is everything. 
This is everything that you worked to build for yourself and for Ludi. This is how... How? Where are we? Oh, I'm sorry, where are my manners? Preacher, welcome to my home. I thought it looked ah! familiar. You made it, says Star Lizard coming oh. around from the corner. Uh, would anyone like some tea? That's my teapot. Well, I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of brewing some. Uh, I, I guess that's fine. Honestly, we just want to know what's going on. Oh, you're going to need mugs. No, Tell I, us how to get out of here. Uh, how, where are the mugs? Oh, the third, third one to the right. Thank All you. Right. But can you explain why you're getting those mugs, please? Tea, Miss Byrne, takes time. I have horns growing out of my head. I had noticed. Yes, and I would like them to go away, so if you have information about that, I don't really care about the damn tea. I do have information, Miss Byrne, but when I give you the information, you might wish that you had taken a moment to enjoy a nice, soothing cup of tea. All What's right, it? make the damn tea. He does. <laughs> and he brings over a cup to each one of you. We don't have to do the space work for it, but if you want, no, all right, oh, there no. we go. Yeah, pass no it on. There we go. Necessary. Okay, cool. Everyone's got theirs. He pours his own. I guess that was my cup. Are these mine? What, 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 yeah. You guys have mine cups. Yeah. We, I got different size mugs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Take a moment. Smell it. Let it suffuse your senses. This is a curious thing, T. It's two, two different things, sometimes more being entered into just, just a small bit of hot water which turns those things into a completely new thing. It's really quite fascinating when you think about it. Does that have anything to do with what's going on? Miss Byrne, everything has something to do with everything that's going on. I was merely making an observation. Wonderful, we've now had our tea. Can you tell me why I have horns on my head? Uh, well, no. But I can tell you that if you stay here much longer, you'll have far worse than that. But, but we want to leave. You told us to come here. We came here. What's the next step? How do we get out well, of well, here? Yeah, uh, you said you had to sacrifice something. Yes. Sacrifice what? Well, I don't want any more tea. I could sacrifice that. Look, Howl. Much of a sacrifice, Howl. Howl, this is your home. This is all you want and what you lost in Coldwater no, Creek. No, no, This no. must be what you have to... No, it's no, not no. real. This ain't my home. My I'm, home is Ludie. She's I'm my afraid home. it's not as easy as that, Mr. Pryor. Never is, is it? Sure. This does currently look very much like your home in Coldwater Creek, Howl. That's burned and gone. I know it. Well... It is, but this is how you remember it. Yeah. What you, are you saying this is just, are we in Howell's head? What? It's a memory. I told you, this is not real. So we are in his memory? You're in a place that you should not stay. You're in a place you cannot remain. And in order to leave, you must sacrifice something that you hold most dear. I sacrifice how? In the usual way, Miss Byrne, well, that's depending on what that thing might be. Well, Say if I had a family heirloom, a, a wooden carving that I found most precious, I might throw it into a fire. Or if, instead, the most precious thing to me was Something else, or? I'm sorry, but sacrificing the most precious thing is not an option. Well, but nope. if, if this ain't real, like, it won't matter, right? Like, it, but we're real, aren't we? I, I feel, aren't we real? I feel real, I don't know. Like, how do you check if you're real? I don't know how that works. Well, I know what the most precious thing to me is then you know what you have to do, well, we're not, Mr. Pryor. That's not, no, we're not gonna. If that's what it takes to leave here, then maybe I don't leave here. Well, 
That is an option. But the longer you wait, the less ability you'll have to make the choice, as you can see. Wait. And he gestures down at your hands, Gabriel, and you can already see where there is normally a gap between your thumb and the rest of your hand. That skin is beginning to close up and you feel your thumb becoming wedged and glued more to the rest of your hand. And already you see that bark-like texture beginning to spread on your hands. Wait, if, if, if we're trying, we're, we don't even know where here is and we don't know where we're trying to go. We, what, what? I should leave. What? You can't, you wait, can't just you leave. You can't leave. Can't, wait, hold on. I, I'll, I'll, I'll start. I'll, do, I'll sacrifice something that means everything to me. And we'll just see what happens, because I'm not killing nobody. Is there a fire in this room? There can be. You have a fireplace right there, Hal. All right, I light it. OK. I'm going to reach into my pocket and pull out Hal's wedding ring, made of wood. And I throw it in the fire. I don't think it worked. Well, can I get it back? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, come on! Well, that's, that's what's worth, I mean. You know the price. You know what you have to do. I'm not. If each of you knows what it is that you hold most dear, that is what you must give up in order to leave. What if this is a trick? What if it's all a trick? Right. We can't do that if... No. I'm sorry. But... There is no other way. But if we won't leave here if we, we can't sacrifice... can't kill Rose. And I can't kill him. I will leave you to the private dignity of the decision that you must make. And Star Lizard turns and takes his walking stick and hobbles out of the house. You all have to leave. And I will remain here. Don't talk ridiculous. How are you going to remain here? Clearly I could stay here. Howell has built a nice home. Oh, yeah. I can stay here. We're all getting out of here. Yeah, we're not staying here. You can't stay. I'm sacrificing my mission. I'm sacrificing everything that I have put forth to eliminate the Baron. You three can carry on that mission. But if this means that you can go free, that is a sacrifice I'm willing to pay. How can we go free if, if I have to sacrifice Rose to get out of here? I have a feeling perhaps just one sacrifice will do. I don't know if that's true. I I don't either. I think, for me, it's going to be... You already tried to sacrifice. I mean, I, I tried it, but if that's not it, then it's only Howell one other thing. Away. I don't know. You threw away a ring, How? That's a piece of wood. I know, but it means something to me. But well, Maybe you have to sacrifice what it means. You all mean more than that ring, but I'm not doing that. That's not going to happen. Wait, wait. We, ha we have to decide whether or not we think this is real. Because if it isn't real, if this is, if we're stuck in our head, in somebody's head again, and the way to get out is to kill one another, that might be our only way to actually survive. This is not something I want to do. All right. I don't even know if I can. All right, look. If this is real, and it's all a trick, and I, I can't go on with Whatever the hell is happening to me, turn it into some sort of cloven-footed devil. We've got to do it now. Rose. Go ahead and kill me. I would rather you make it out. No, I'm no. No, I'm not going to do it we by can, myself. No. We can, we can close our eyes and hold our guns to each other's heads. If this isn't real, then maybe we'll wake up and everything will be fine. But if it is, then it might be the better alternative I to turn it into whatever we are turning into. 
I, I think if we're going to do this, we should use the knives and we'll do it at the same time because I am not letting you fake me out. But we're not gonna let you, we're not gonna let them do that, right? I You're don't too know damn whether, smart for me, Rose. <laughs> I, you're, I'm not going to go on without you. If, if anything, if, if we have to sacrifice what we hold most dear to get out of here, that, we can't do both of those, so we have to assume that this isn't real, that, that, that this is in our heads, that, that this is some challenge that either chaos or someone has put forth, and we just have to, we have to trust for once and hope that we get out on the other side. All right, all right. I want, I want to grab Rose's, or one of Rose's knives, and I'll like put it in front of my heart, and I'll take the other and kind of put it in front of hers, and then we can just kind of like face ourselves in front of each other. All right, if this doesn't work, well, I guess we went out like idiots. No, come on, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I will hold the knife that he, that is, to him and vice versa. And I literally just, because Rose is not gonna let him do this on his own. I mean, she's gonna like pull. Yeah, well, it'll just be like, like Rose. Like a hug. I love you. I love you. Okay. And as you both watch, holding their knives to each other's chests, they reach out their arms and pull each other tightly, violently too and you see their eyes go wide from the pain. And you see their eyes unfocus, and you watch them both fall to the ground. I'm gonna need guts rolls from both of you. <sighs> Any minuses? Uh, yeah, minus three. Ace. Ace! Ace! How where are the tea mugs? I can't seem to find a oh. Oh, we have company. What? How, why didn't you say anything? Ludi, what? Oh. She walks into the room just like you remember her from back at Coldwater Creek. No. Before everything went wrong, before she left and was taken. James, you watching them do that has just confirmed for you what you were already feeling. How, um, should we? Uh, you haven't introduced me yet to your friend. Hi, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm Ludie Melton. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Howell. This ain't happening, this ain't, this ain't happening, this. Howell. What? You have to walk away. I know what this means. How? what's going on? Are you in some sort of trouble? You're not, you're not re, I don't. I'm gonna just start walking towards the front door. As you do, there's a sudden pounding on the front door. Open up. This is Ranger Leyland. We've got a warrant for the arrest of Mr. James Bogue. He's wanted for murder of a Bayou Vermilion employee in the town of Denver. What the hell? How did this? How, who is, who is this? Is this, is this, is this man a criminal? Have you brought? He's not a criminal, he's, my, he's a good friend of mine, and he's... You don't tell him anything, you do not tell him anything. Sorry Mr. to bring Bogue. you trouble, ma'am. And I open the front door. No, 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 no. And walk out? I'm James Bogue, and I walk out. And you close it behind you? Yes. How, what? What was that? That's... Is it, is, are, are, are you hurt? Is, I'm not hurt, Ludie, I'm not hurt. Listen, you're not gonna get this, but, well, I gotta do something, and it's gonna look awful weird. Whatever it is, I, 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 I just wanna help. Do I have my weapon on me? Mm -hmm. So I pull out my, uh, um, my claw. How, what is that? It's just something I gotta do and I strap it on. I don't, I don't like Ludie, the look just, of this. I just help. need you to close your eyes, please. What? Just, tr do you trust me? I, I, I don't, I don't. Just close your eyes. 
and she looks at you for a long moment. And then she, you see that familiar set to her mouth, and she says, okay, I, I, I trust you. And she closes her eyes. I'm gonna walk forward and just kiss her on the forehead and then take a couple steps back and take the claw, rear back, and jam it in my own neck. Yeah. In your own neck? Yeah. Okay. So you jam it into your own neck. Uh, and immediately, you just feel a spray of arterial blood come shooting out. And Ludi opens her eyes and just starts screaming, Hal, no, what have you done? What have you done? No, no, Hal, Hal, this is, what are you doing? And she takes it and pulls it out of your neck. What have you done? What have you done? And she's, she's grabbing whatever's nearby and just trying to press it up to your, to your throat to stop the blood. What are you doing? No, I don't, no. No, I don't, I don't want to do this. Do you have a gun on you? I have my shotgun. How? She can see the life fading from your eyes, and you can see, as, as your vision dims, you can see already what is passing through her frantic mind. She says, I am not, I am not going to stay here without you. And while you are helpless to stop her, she takes the shotgun off of your back, and, and, positions herself next to you so that she can see you. And she says, no, I love you. And she places the shotgun in her mouth and pulls the trigger. And you close your eyes at that sound and you keep them closed and you expect at any moment to be able to just let your consciousness flee this terrible, terrible situation you find yourself trapped in, but it doesn't. And you don't feel pain anymore. And instead, you just open your eyes and see Ludi. And I need you to make a guts roll. Any minuses? No. Okay. It's an ace. Ooh. It's a nine. Plus four. Thirteen. It's not a surprise. It's what you expected to see. But that doesn't make it any easier. And just behind her, are the bodies of Gabe and Rosaline. And James is gone, remanded himself to the authorities, and you just stare, feeling your neck almost distractedly for the wound that is no longer there, at the ruins of the life that you worked so hard to build. And you hear soft footsteps behind you. Do you turn to look? Yeah. It's Star Lizard. And he's hobbling back in, and his eyes are on you. Well, it's all gone. Everything's gone. Is that what you wanted? I did tell you this was real. I'm going to grab a, a sheet off the couch and just put it over Ludi so I don't have to look at that anymore. I did warn you, how? You didn't. Why am I still here? Why is this, is this, tell me this isn't real. You tell this me. This is your life now. This is, what the? How? Get very close to me. Come here. Look at me. Because I'm going to tell you something important. All right. Hal Melton, there is no such thing as a free lunch. And as he says that, you feel yourself ripped away from where you are, hurtling through darkness, and you feel yourself screaming, your lungs just expelling air, as the sensation of your soul, your consciousness, is stuffed back into your broken, battered body, having just fallen in defeat to the devil bulls that the Reckoner sent to destroy all of you. And you hear the thundering voice of chaos in the sky, screaming, no. And that is where we will end today. So, thank you guys. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you uh, who are watching at home, and thank you for your yes. donations to thank Extra you. Life. Uh, you, that is amazing. Much. Yes. Uh, what was? Do we have the? I, I will check. Keep going. Okay. Um, the things that were unlocked for Extra Life were, of course, uh, James growing bull hair. 
Uh, Rosaline growing horns, oh. Gabriel sprouting hooves, uh, the appearance of the wraith, and then finally the scribbled one that I added back in was another appearance from Chaos, the Reckoner oh. who walks the earth. Uh, so thank you guys uh, very much for uh, your charitable donations and for unlocking that stuff. We hit $600. $600! Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you guys. Thank you, thank you so much. That is amazing. Really Not good. bad. Thank you all. Not bad for a two hour game. So thank yeah. you guys right. very thank much. You thank so you much. here. Thank you for everyone home. Thank you for Gen Con uh, yes. for yeah. putting this on for us thank and letting you. us do yeah. this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah, guys. thank you. Uh, and if you are here this weekend, uh, we would love to see you. Stop us at any point uh, and say hi. We're more than happy to, to talk and hang out. And uh, there's going to be more awesome stuff happening here on this stage and on this Twitch channel the whole weekend. Yeah. You can find us at uh, twitch.tv slash savingthrowshow. Uh, many of you may already know that. Or at savingthrowshow on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Uh, and... Yeah, thank you, everybody. Thanks so much for coming out, and yeah. enjoy the rest of your convention. Have Good. a great time, guys. Thank Good. you for being yeah. here. Great. Yes, finger guns! We'll leave you with finger, finger guns! guns. <laughs> <laughs> pow, pow!